is everyone doing on this fan fucking tastic Sunday? Somebody said wipe your mouth. I think I have sriracha on my face. Hold up. Oh, I get it. Anyways, how are y'all doing today? I'm a little bit late. My apologies. Uh, but we're here. And we're doing a fucking React Day today, chat. We're doing a few things. Number one's going to be a regular React Day. We got a bunch of trailers, fucking cop body cam videos, Darman videos, fucking cool, funny, fucking cringe videos. And then we're going to be doing philosophy. We haven't done a philosophy React Day slash philosophy stream in a while. Uh, so this is probably going to be a half and half stream, half uh, regular Reacts, half philosophy Reacts. Uh, you guys have been requesting it. So we're going to be doing that after. But, um... That's the schedule for today. Tomorrow, we're doing all of Man of Madan. We're going to beat literally the entire game. Uh, Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing Scary Games. Thursday is Fortnite and maybe Rainbow Six or Roblox. I might actually switch my Tuesday and Thursday, by the way. So I might be live Tuesday and not be live Thursday. I'll let you guys know by tomorrow. Uh, Friday's going to be Reacts. Uh, or no, Friday's going to be the Lunchables review. Saturday is going to be... Uh, 420, so we're gonna be getting high on stream, doing a bunch of random shit, tier lists, reacts, fucking playing games with JoJo and shit. Uh, and Sunday's reacts. And we might, uh, either Tuesday or Thursday, depending on which day I'm live or not live, uh, run back Storage Hustle, because that game was fun as fuck. Did you guys like that game yesterday? I thought it was very fun. Anyways, tradition for the sub, uh, Black Bean for the three, love you, uh, Joe, Hayes for the sub, Lucadra, 317, Sai, Zazel, No Love, Nightly, good. Redstone, Katie, Nexus, and Jack for the sub. And Chill subbed to me 11 hours ago in, like, the middle of the night. Anyways, TTG for the sub. Uh, chat, I'm live late, and I have a story time. I don't know if I want to tell this story. I'm going to tell this story. Uh, I went out last night with my friends. We went to a, uh, a bar. And, you know, it was fun. Nothing, nothing that insane, right? We get back, and... Um, <clears throat> We get back, and I just immediately pass out. I put on Brother Bear, the Disney movie, uh, because he had a fucking disc of it. I chilled at his house, and he had, like, a fucking CD player or uh, DVD player. Put on Brother Bear, got three minutes in and fell asleep. Woke up at 4 a.m. to go take a piss, and I'm holding my phone, and I'm like, where's my phone, right? And I turn my phone flashlight on, trying to look for my phone like i'm like actively like dude where the fuck did i put my phone and i'm like fucking like looking under the couch with the flashlight and shit and at one moment i like look down at my right hand and i'm like bro you gotta be fucking kidding me and i just i just lay back down and i go to bed dude i wake up i wake up the next day and i have to drive my friend home because he was already drunk golf in the night before so i had to fucking drive him to my friend's house so we could uber because he couldn't fucking drive. And so I drive him home. You know, we're talking. I get back to my house. And I have these water bottles that I put in my bag. Because I always bring water if I'm going to go fucking drink. Because I, I want to have water on me. And, you know, I open one of them. And I'm like, dude, I'm fucking thirsty. And I open one. And it, you know how when you open a water bottle, it makes that... <coughs> like you're snapping the, the plastic. Um, It didn't make that noise. But it was like... I, I was I was just like sitting there, you know, I'm fucking like I'm I'm literally like I'm grabbing my bag and I'm walking inside and I'm like taking it off. It, like it doesn't make any noise. And I take a swig out of it, bro. It was piss. Again, <laughs> yo, I swear to God, chat. I swear to God, I spit that bitch out. I went, oh my fucking god. A third time. A third time. I it's been years. It's been years since I fucking accidentally dragged my own piss. Drank my own piss. Accidentally. I'm hoping it was mine. I don't even remember pissing in the bottle, bro. I don't... I, I, Dude, I literally texted my friends. I said, did any of you guys piss in this bottle? Because I'm praying that it's my own piss. I would so much rather drink my own piss than somebody else's. Because that would be fucking awful. And they were like, I don't remember pissing in a bottle. I was like, bro, neither do I. <laughs> but it was there. And you know why it was yellow? No. It was clear. I don't know if it was, like, half water or maybe I was just that hydrated. Bro, it was dead clear and it didn't even smell. It didn't even smell. But I drank it. Dude, honestly, this is what went through my head. I drank it. I took a gulp and I went, that tastes fucking weird. 
And I'm thinking to myself, maybe I put, like, liquid IV in it. Because low-key, like, I look at it, and it's, like, a very almost watery, but looks like there might have been, like, a lemonade packet poured into it. Like, a Simply Lemonade packet. And I'm like, oh, maybe I put, like, liquid IV in this for some electrolytes. And then I went. And then I breathed out. I started brushing my teeth and shit. I was like, bro, this is the third time. The third time. Piss and liquid IV don't look the same. Bro, they're both, like, just... It, I don't know how to... Dude, it wasn't, like, yellow. Okay? You swallowed it? Yeah, a little bit. I didn't know. Chat, imagine I hand... Imagine I hand you a water bottle, and you think it's a water bottle. First gulp, you're not even tasting it. Right? That's why there's those videos... Of, like, people getting handed a water bottle, but it's vodka. And the first sip, they just go. And then you realize it because you feel the aftertaste. So I didn't even know. And then I was like, bro, this shit. I, I can't believe I did that again. But that's the story. That's the story time. That's all. Oh, also, I lost every fucking bet I put on the UFC 300 fight. Every Fuck every fucking bet. Every single one. I miss every single one. I put Bo Nickel, Bo Nickel, fucking round one submission. He gets round two submission. Oliveira, lost bet. Fucking Pereira, lost bet. Hill got slumped first round. I was, I was betting on a round two when fucking uh, fights two minutes. L gambling. I disabled my uh, betting account, so now I can't use it for a year. But here's the problem, is like, there's just a million betting apps, right? Here's the issue, right? I disabled, I disabled the one that I was using, but like, I could just still use my DraftKings or like any of the other, there's like 45 gambling sites, you know? That's the problem. UFC 300 was good. The fights were good. I only saw two of them and I watched them on a drunk guy's phone at the bar. I was at the bar, and he's sitting up. He, ha he has his phone set up on a Coors Light. And I see the fight going on, and I just start... I'm just, like, sitting behind him. I'm like, damn, yo, is this the main fight? And he, like, turns back, and he's like, you want to watch? I'm like, yeah. He starts talking to me about UFC. He smelled like cigarettes. But I'm used to that smell at bars. Anyways, dude, we pulled up to an old person bar, too. I was fucking... I was, like, low-key upset about it originally, but they were playing bangers. Me and my friends showed up. Swear to God, we were the youngest people there. I mean, keep in mind, I'm also like 22, so that wouldn't be shocking at a bar. But, like, I would say the average age of the people at the bar was, like, fucking 45. Like, there were, there were like, 60-year-old, like, men and women on the dance floor going like this. But they were playing some heat, dude. They had a live band. They had a live band play Eye of the Tiger. That shit had me going. I was like. I was fucking jamming. They were playing the throwbacks. I was like, yo, maybe old people bars aren't bad. Maybe old people bars aren't bad. That shit was fun. And then they played that one song. What's that one song where they have a fiddle? And it's like about heaven and hell. This one. And that, yo, they had a girl out with a violin going. I was like. Fucking sitting there at night. It got serious, too. And everybody started dancing. Yo, that shit was fun. That shit was fun. But when we pulled up, though, I was like, ugh. I pull up, and it's just all old heads. Just like, and you can tell it's an old person, but you, I, even if I wasn't able to tell how old they are, like by looking at them, you could tell that they were old by how they dance, dude. Like nobody was getting sturdy or fucking hitting any clean shit. It was like, bro, like imagine your mom, imagine your mom going to a club. That's what it was like. Like for sure.
Like, nobody gets sturdy in 2024. You know what I mean. I'm not saying actually getting sturdy. I'm saying, like, like, at, like modern dance moves. Or, like, feeling the rhythm. Like, no. They're just, like, it'd be like, like your mom shaking it. Right? And I was like, damn, dude. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. Like, two of the people that were dancing looked like they could have been, like, vice principals at, like, a school. And I was like, this is hilarious. How much did you drink? I mean, not not that much. I don't remember. I, I remember everything, but I'm not, I'm not like, counting how many drinks I ordered. I had, like, fucking surf sides and then a few shots, but that was it. I wasn't, like, getting trashed. But, I mean, I, I, I did drink my own piss in the morning. Uh, that, was like, that was, like, two hours ago. All right, are we ready to get into the reacts? Mary and Hammy for the sub is for the three. Thoughts on OJ Simpson? What do you mean, thoughts on OJ Simpson? Gonna need to kind of flesh that one out a little bit. Uh, Wispa for the fucking five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted subs. X Fizzy for the sub. Uh, floating for the three. Uh, Mr. Fact of the Day again was back in the hospital. I hope you're okay. Uh, fact of the Day 36. A lot of perfumes contain whale poop. Why? Does it smell good? Endomation, Reaper, and Scar for the sub. Super for the three. Back in 2015 or 16, when I was five or six during the summer, you had no internet, so I was wa I watched Brother Bear on my Xbox 360 probably 50 times. You watched it 50 times? OJ died? I know. I, I think everybody knows that. Dude, what was a fun fact that I wanted to share? Cereal, I don't know if you, you might have told me this fact, but I told my friend it the other day because he ordered. When I was at the bar, my friend ordered a gin and tonic. And he, like, starts sipping it. I'm like, oh, what's that? He's like a gin and tonic. I'm like, oh, you know, serial killers drink gin and tonics more than anything else. Fearless for the sub. Eric for the sub. Ban a banana for the sub. I was about to play uh, Roblox. Can you stream later? No. Kara for the four. Weather's gorgeous today in South Jersey. Bought so Storage Hustlers yesterday after watching you play it. Really looking forward to play it. I want to say, ask when you'll be playing it again. Maybe, I mean, it really depends. I'll know tomorrow. Right now, today's reacts. Tomorrow is Man of Madon full game. I don't know if I'm going live Tuesday or Thursday. Whichever day I go live, the other I will not be live. I'm probably going to end up going live Tuesday if I had a guess. And we're probably going to do like Fortnite R6 and maybe Storage Hustlers. If not, I'll just end up running it like not this Monday, but the Monday after that. So it might be like a week from today. Um, but then Wednesday, Scary Games. Thursday, I'm probably not going to be live. Friday is Lunchables. Saturday... Uh, 420 Sunday reacts. But yeah, that's the plan. All right. Uh, hello, Grubby and X Wiggle for the sub Rafter, Chill, Baconator, TTG, Tradition for the sub Black Bean for the three. Mr. Endless for the sub Rick for the five. My keyboard broke a few days ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Jacob for the three. Do you have any re recommendations? No, I'm not a keyboard guy. Uh, you said this time me out, but I got banned. If you could re. <sighs> You spammed Will You Play Far Cry 6 like 40 times. Uh, I'll unban you, but uh, just don't spam. And your account doesn't even follow me, so what the fuck. Purred for the sub, Mary and Hammy for the sub, Mr. Andy for the sub. I never understand when somebody asks for an unban on another account using an account that already watches me. Doesn't make sense. I, I don't, just to use the main account, I, I have no idea. Anyways, Sophia for the sub. Chat, here's the rundown of the reacts we got today. Lock the fuck in. Starting out, we have the new Joker trailer. 28 million views in four days. Joker, how do you say that? Folie I'll do. Folie I'll do. Kid becomes Roblox millionaire, billionaire after account deleted. What about the cute girl? When genius prisoners trick cops to escape jail. The worst kid on kick. Old people try vapes and toxic waste sour sweets. I tried the world's weirdest public toilets. What is... This is the philosophy shit. What is consciousness? Optimistic nihilism? What is love? And give me an answer. Can life really come from an inanimate non-life matter? Lock the fuck in here, chat. We got a lot of reacts we got to get to today. Half fucking regular, half uh, philosophy. W ass lineup. Let's lock in. If you have any videos you want me to watch or games you want me to play in the future, exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord. Send videos from your react to games you can play. Video slash job, game slash job. It's high five. Most of the videos that I watch, the games that I play. We're doing reacts today and then gaming basically the rest of the week until next Friday. But yeah, lock in. I don't know for sure when storage hustlers will be. I'll keep you all updated. It might not be this week, if I'm being real. Uh, but we also might do it on Tuesday. The boy talks it for the five. Got my first house. Just married my fiance two days ago. Congrats. Dub in the chat for that. Vibe for the five. Willy Wonka has always been a musical. I never understand the hate for this version.
Because it, it's a musical in an area where it doesn't make sense to be a musical. Actually, no, dude. Okay, hold up. Now the no the Wonka Scrub song is actually pretty good. Okay, now I'm like starting to like some of the. Now, okay, now I'm like actually looking back. I need to finish Wonka. Stay back to work. Come along, Mr. This one. Did I remember? I, I'm that guy that points out inaccuracies in movies. I, I'm like, I'm, I'm somebody you don't want to watch a movie with. Well, I remember watching this, and for those of you that don't know, I'm gonna spoil this. In Wonka, he basically signs a fake contract that like makes him have to work here for like years on end. There is no legal legitimacy in this contract at all, but like him and like five other people are working in this, like, borderline sweatshop for, like, fucking years, right? Willie's not... Wonka's been there for a little bit, right? But, like, the other guys have been there for, like, seven years. And they're like, you gotta read the small print. You would get out of that so fast. Like, that contract is not gonna legally bind you there. I remember saying that out loud when we were watching this. And then in my own head, I went, oh, God, I'm that guy. Like, I'm that guy. But I, I mean, it annoys me. Like, I know it's a kid's film, but, like... It should still be, it should make sense, right? There should be logic in, in, in some of it, right? Like, it bothered me that he's just stuck here. And, like, he can't just be like, this contract has no legal legitimacy, legitimacy on me. Like, I'm just gonna fucking leave. And they have, like, a dog, gra like, guarding the door, and they all can't leave because of it. It's a fucking pit bull. You have five people. Kick the shit out of the dog and walk out of the fucking door. Like, I, I don't want to hurt a dog, but I'm saying, like, you're, they act like they're trapped there because the dog's just sitting there. It's, like, fucking 100 pounds. You can fucking just move it out of the way. It bites you. Y you're five people. Mr. Sophia Braxton, Spooky, Angel, and Atlas for the sub B for the three. I played against your old high school's crew team and shit on them. Strictly for the three. Joker 2 is going to be full-on musical, so it's going to be super different. Good for the sub alley for the three. On the 16th, it marks my 15th anniversary since I lost my dad to suicide. I'm sorry to hear that. Rip in the chat for your father. I think I'm saying your name right. Ali, Ali, Ali. V2 for the sub. Vibe for the five. Suicide is never the answer. And I'm sorry that you're going through that. And that you had to go through that, you know, 15 years ago. Vibe for the five. Uh, I already read that. Floating for the three. The only good musicals are Heathers and Hamilton. Mr. B6 for the three. Director of Joker 2 said the movie being a musical... We never really talked about it like that, but I like to say it's a film where music is an essential element. Okay. So it's not like a full-blown musical. All right, lock in for the first actual video here today. Lock in for the first actual video. Poop for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Poop. I appreciate that. Thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the five gifted, Poop. Kid becomes Roblox billionaire after account deleted. What about the cute girl? Oh, look what we have here. Russell's backpack. I wonder what he's got inside. Oh, look. Wow, yeah, like just talking to yourself. Just no inner mono. If I ever saw somebody talk like this in public, I would immediately think they're fucking stupid. No inner monologue whatsoever. They have to physically talk out loud to hear what they're fucking saying. Like, what the hell is this man doing? Oh, looky here. Russell's backpack. You should never leave your laptop unattended. This is a man wearing a fucking $10,000 ring on his fucking hand. Oh, God, that's reminding me of the fact that I just drank piss earlier. Oh, my God. I still have the taste in my mouth, man. It's so gross. It's like, I can't even describe it. Like, it's, uh, it's not as bad as you would think it is. But it's like, it's like, uh, and people are saying, what? Bro, I already told the story. Are there that many people here that weren't here fucking 10 minutes ago when I told this story? Mods, can we moderate the chat? There's a few shitty ass chatters. There's no mods in my fucking stream right now. There's like three mods here. I, I feel like I need to mod more fucking people. I'm not telling the story again. I'll tell the story a little quick synopsis. 
Uh, went out with my friends last night, stayed at my friend's house, got home, took a water bottle out of my bag that was full to the brim, unscrewed it, noticed that it wasn't really, like, you know, sealed on, but it was, like, it had already been opened. I, it's, like, almost dead clear. I take a swig out of it. It's piss. I don't know whose piss it was. I hope it was mine, though. Poop for the fucking 10 subs. Thank you for the 10 subs, poop caca. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. I appreciate that. That's enough for me. Yeah, third time. Third time in my life that I've drank my own pass. God. I always wonder, like, is, is, is there going to be enough? Like, chat, how long until I do it again? I really never thought that I would accidentally drink my own piss again. And then I did. But this time, I was, like, fully befuddled. Right? Like, I was stumped as to how piss got in that bottle. Two years? I'd say, like, another two, three years. I say that, and, like, I'm, like, a week from now, I'm like, chat, boy, do I have a story for you guys. <laughs> Alex Maz for the sub C's for the five. You make everything better, Joe. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> that you would just, you would just immediately get expelled for that. He's just breaking his fucking laptop. <laughs> Russell's so lucky I'm around to teach him life lessons. Time for Pet Simulator X. Great, let's do the tech world. No, we're playing fantasy. Fine, let's hatch some eggs. None of these basics. I want the rare ones. Yeah, who doesn't? Got a corgi, black bear, golden tiger. Do any That's of you guys play fucking Roblox in school? This just seems so stupid on the Lenovo laptop. Fucking 30 FPS. It's lame, I'm looking for a legendary. Hey, I see you guys are playing Roblox. That's right, Pet Simulator. You guys actually know I'm a Roblox developer, right? Later X. That's my game. Yeah, Russell, you should join us. I, uh, I think your laptop's in your backpack. Okay. What is this? My laptop's... <laughs> <laughs> he just pours it all. Dude, his backpack would be sopping wet. He would already know. Okay. What is this? Uh, what is this? My laptop is sopping wet. This guy would murder whoever this dude is. Russell. This? My laptop's ruined. Oh, looks like Russell wants to play Ocean World. I don't think so, Brock. That's not funny. Obviously, he did that on purpose so he doesn't have to play against us. Oh, yeah. Somebody get this. Somebody get this man into the next Oppenheimer. This acting is fucking surreal. Oh, yeah. I'd ruin my laptop on purpose. Russell, man, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I'm writing a Roblox game. It's a good thing the files are online. Oh, you are? Well, you better get a diaper for whatever computer you use. Very funny, Brock. All I can say is when my game's done, you're gonna stink at it. That is so cool you're writing a game. When can I play it? It doesn't matter, Dylan. He's only writing that game because he's the worst at every other one. Oh yeah? Well, maybe you and I should do a competition one of these days. This is brain rot. This is, this is fucking brain rot. Oh my God. Oh yeah? Well, maybe we should go head-to-head -head in a Roblox rematch. Me versus you. In in Burger Tycoon 5. Whoever can make the most burgers in 10 minutes wins. Maybe we could do it in a swimming pool so that you will always win. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm going to write my game at home. Bye-bye, Aquaman. Dude, don't you think you're being a little harsh? All the way up top, but who the fuck wears it? Who the fuck goes to school in a fucking pink button town? All the way top button, dude. That's just uncomfortable. Russell's laptop is broken, and he doesn't know who did it. He's going to have to find I feel like it was apparently obvious. Different computer to build his game on. 
Hey, could you guys teach me how to play Brookhaven? Sure. No, I got it. Why is this all wet? Oh, that's Russell. He's messy. Don't pay attention to him. Oh, this is where they live? This is a fucking insanely rich neighborhood. Where is this? Italy? What the fuck? Now that I have my shanty next to my cove, I'm gonna put the spawn point on the other side of town. Looks like the most boring ass Roblox game. Oh my god, this looks awful. Some stupid fucking island looks like a shitty version of like Rust. Now that I have my shanty next to my cove, I'm gonna put the spawn point on the other side of town. Here. Oh, Russell! Why are you using my laptop to do your homework? Uh, I left mine at school. Uh, I'm using yours so I can build my homework. Oh, really? What you working on? Uh, history. That's not history. You're playing a game. I'm not- Buddy, just tab out. What the fuck? Uh, 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 history. Just fucking exit out. Playing a game? I'm writing one. Making, playing, there's no difference. I told you, you cannot play games till all your ho She is sweating. Homework is done. Mom, I'm already getting all A's and B's. No, you're not. You're only getting a C in history. History? Who cares? The future is technology, not history. And just how are you supposed to learn about the future if you don't know about the past? Fine, I'll do my history. But I am going to be a big game developer someday. Well, that's more like it. Do Roblox devs actually make a lot of money? I thought the splits on that shit were terrible. I know Fortnite creator maps make way more. That's why every Fortnite... Like, I don't know if you guys... I'm assuming you guys know this. But if you ever watch, like, a Fortnite streamer, like Nick A30 or Clix or Asian Jeff or any of them, and they're, like, always playing, like, their box map or something, they're doing that because if they get active players, they will make fucking tens of thousands of dollars. Like, a, a month, a week, easily. Like, if you average, like, 20k players on your fucking Fortnite map, you're gonna make so much. Make a Fortnite map? I should. Uh, what should my Fortnite map be? Dude. Roblox takes 25% or 75%. That's actually, like, highway robbery. 75%. Where does the money come from, though? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know how how Fortnite creators just get paid that much from somebody playing on their thing. Same with Roblox. How does Roblox make money? How do you make money? Like, obviously, in-game purchases with Robux, but also, like, for Fortnite, it's just people playing your map. How does that make you money? Dude, what you working on? If they probably just give you a split based on how much... Because if you're getting people on the game, that means they're gonna fucking buy more skins and shit. It's my new game. I'm calling it Quest for Everlost. Looks cool. What's it gonna be like? Well, it's set in the Middle Ages. Imagine a fantasy land that you can explore and participate in epic adventures. Wow. We're just gonna, like, download fucking Elden Ring. Who the hell's gonna play this? Where'd you get that idea? I came up with it myself. You've got, like, an ocean and village and, and people? How do you do that? Roblox has a powerful developer toolkit that I've tailored to my needs. So then I move it here. Hey, what are you guys doing? Russell's showing me the Roblox game he's building. No doubt he has to build his own because he doesn't know how to play. Bro, if I ever was a Roblox dev, I would just make, like, those really shitty-ass, like, Shrek Roblox games and just crank those out. I'd be making the poop killers of Roblox. Like a 10-minute fucking shitter ass. Or like a tycoon. I feel like those crank money and they're low effort as fuck. It's just gen- It's literally cookie clickers. You're just making a, 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 an ulterior version of cookie clickers that people get obsessed with. Like money tycoon or whatever. You just fucking sit there and just like literally run back and forth and fucking upgrade it so you just get more of something that doesn't matter. <laughs> Play. That's what you think. All you're gonna ever be able to do is play games. Well, I am gonna make them. Well, at least I know how to play. Same with sim games. That is true. That's same with most games, honestly. Like grinding for like a camo, dude. That's what I always. I I just don't have the motivation. If I ever got into a cod again, I don't know if I would have the motivation to fucking sweat camos. 
Like, do you guys still try and get Call of Duty camos? I remember when I unlocked Black o or like Dark Matter in BO3. It took me so long. And I was like, at the end of it, I was happy. And I was like, okay, now I can put this on all my guns. But at the same time, you grind that long to get a camo. And then the next year, everybody just stops playing that COD, right? COD comes out in November. You grind for Dark Matter till March. And then by November, everybody just leaves the game. Lamb, unlike you. Brittany, as if I even need to tell you, you got an A. Oh, wait, did I miss one? I'll do better next time. I see a couple of areas where you could improve, but otherwise, great job, Dylan. The teachers are not doing a one-on-one -on -one sesh for this shit. They're handing you your paper folded like this. Two fingers on the top, and then they wedge it, and they just hand you your paper. You flip that bitch around. 72. Fuck. That's private school? That's still not private school. They would, just, they would just hand you your test back. <sighs> All right, Brock. 71%. I mean, C minus. 71%. That's passing, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. Sweet. Russell, on this test, you got a D plus. I mean, <laughs> you're going to have to pull this grade up. I'm doing really That was failing in my high school, 67. Well, in all my other classes. Well, if you can't do better in my class, you're going to have to retake history. I can't retake history? What am I going to do? Well, have you considered getting a tutor? I can offer a few referrals. Yeah, man, whatever it takes. Maybe if you taught me better in class, you fucking idiot. Maybe then I wouldn't be getting a 67, buddy. What year was the French Revolution? I don't know. I'm just gonna Google it. Russell, you're not playing that. You gotta Google it and make a quizlet. She's always sweating. History? I don't wanna comment on it, but it's like, I just keep seeing it. Yeah, mom. I think I'm finally starting to get it. Oh, really? History is nothing but memorization. You know, names, dates, places. Well, honey, there is more to it than that. Maybe we should get you a tutor. Yeah, that's what Mr. B suggested. Well, in that case, why Mr. not Beast. try it? Russell's mom wants him to get a tutor because she won't be happy unless he gets an A in history. Yo, any of y'all got parents that'll, like, ground you if you get, like, a fucking B or, like, a C in a subject? That shit blows. I, I mean, I think it's different if your kid's, like, failing subjects or classes, but if you, if you get, like, a B on a test or a C on a test, it'd be like, bro, just fucking get your grades up. Hey, dude, I, I just built my first boat, and it's floating. That's not the way you play build a boat for treasure. What do you mean that's not how you're supposed to play? You're supposed to build a boat for treasure. No, man, what you want to do is get treasure first so you can build a better boat. Look, I just got a soccer goal. Yeah, I see that. What? What is the premise of this game? This man, he's building a boat, but he's playing soccer? I like uh, Roblox games don't make sense to me. And 50 gold and 40 blocks. Where exactly? Like, I like the Roblox horror I played, but the Roblox game, like, if you just scroll on the random discovery page on Roblox, all the games suck. Oh, I find that anyway. So what you want to do is you want to go into this quest tab. Like, right now, I'm going to load up the ramp quest to get more gold. Yeah, 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 I, I see it. I'm going to go for the target quest. God, Look. that looks so boring. Do you guys play this? I'm going to load up the egg cannon quest so I could get more more schmeckles so I could upgrade my gold. Look who's here. Dylan, why are you hanging out with this Roblox noob? He's not a noob. Yeah, I'm better than you. Oh, really? Well, how many Robux do you got? More than you. I got 800 for my birthday. Well, I've This earned... man's like 35. This man looks 10 years older than me. 1,200 so far, and my game's not even done. Well, while you're working on your game, I'm going to be going to the Roblox Championship up in San Francisco. Dude, did you make it into the championship? Championship for what? Fucking tycoons? Just simulators? <laughs> All right, who's going to make the most money on Burger Tycoon 5? You guys have an hour. Good luck. Well... Uh not explaining your strategy there's no competitive roblox actually I, I have to win two more rounds first of what don't you only have to win three rounds to get there of what game 
Are, is there competitive? Is there is there competitive games in Roblox? Yeah, but that Arsenal? doesn't matter. Bro, at that point, just fucking play an FPS game that's not Roblox. I'm the best Roblox player in the school. Uh, don't you mean second best? Well, why don't we do a little competition and make it interesting? What do you have in mind? Well, I've got 800 Robux saved up. Why don't we play winner take all? 800? How much is 800 Robux worth? I swear to God, if it's like a dollar. How much is 800 real? 10 bucks? Oh my God. That's nothing. You're on. Bring your 800 Robux. What are we playing? Blocks fruits. Blocks fruits? Yeah. Whoever survives the longest, that's the winner. You're going down. God, I need to fast forward. I can't. I can't get through this. I am. I'm not going to be able to get through this. What is this? What is this? Oh, I get it. It's kind of like mental motivation. And where is my challenger, Russell? I don't know, man. Maybe he chickened out. Oh, no. I know him. He'll be here. Oh, look. Is it Halloween? Oh, I see you've dressed warmly. Because it's going to be a long, cold winter after you lose. Do they have class? I, do they have... Do they go... Are they, are they learning subjects in this fucking school? They got their grades, but the rest of it has just been them in the computer lab playing fucking Roblox. Well, it looks like you're appropriately dressed for Blocks Fruit. That's right. Because you look like a grape. <laughs> well, you're not going to be laughing so much when we're done. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm tired of listening to your whining. God, how much do you think they got paid for this? I mean, it's got 5 million views. It's got 5 million views. These guys probably got paid like 200 bucks. Reset password. Because there's so many so. actors. Ah, here it is. Delete. Now he'll have no choice but to do his homework. I would hate my mom. I would hate my mom. If you were if you were a dev for a video game and actually making money and your parents deleted your account, holy shit. That's so bad. Okay, you two know the rules. Whoever survives the longest is the winner. When I say go, you're gonna start. But first, log in. Okay, I'm logging in. What? What's wrong? Alright, I'm in. Oh, what? You forget your password? No, my password is fine. It says my account's deleted. That means he's afraid to take me on. I don't know what happened. You would be able to get your account back. You would literally just go to fucking support and they would give you your account back. How does he go? Well, this came in for you today from that Rolodex company. Yeah, I already know what it's about. They deleted my account. Well, you better hope that's all they did. Read it. It's a check for a billion dollars. So, what's it say? They're summoning me. I have to go there. They're, they're summoning me. The, the Roblox heads, the gods of, of Roblox are summoning me to their castle. I don't really know what's going on. Person summoning me. Wow, I can't believe they're flying me to LA. Hand on a private jet. That just wouldn't happen. How did they know my face? Oh, uh, they got you sun-kissed orange, the most the most disgusting soda. Give a drink. Oh wow, and a fucking margarita glass. Ah, I can get used to this. There's a phone? Hello? Russell, I'm so glad I could reach you all the way up. How did she know the fucking number of the private jet? Tell me. Tell me. She fucking... Number one, she knew where he was going. And that he was going. And then she's gonna fucking... She's gonna call the fucking... What? There. Brittany, it's so nice to hear from you. Sorry, I'm flying right now, so I'm gonna have to miss our tutoring session. Oh, I actually wasn't calling about that. This is something personal. Oh my goodness, personal? Something wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. Um, I was just wondering if you were taking your girlfriend to prom? Girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Well, that's why I was calling. Brittany, are you calling for the reason I think you're calling? 
Yes, I am. Will you be my boyfriend? Heck yeah. What? <laughs> Chat saying her is. <laughs> she just calls him. Bro, th this would also be like directly lined up to when she realized he had money. He would just, uh, he should just say no. What would Brock and the other guys think? I don't care what they think. I only care what you think, honey. This is your captain. We'll be landing in 10 minutes. Brittany, we're about to land in LA. I'll call you back. Okay, call me when you get back. Her nails are so long. Russell, we're fully aware of what you've been doing on Roblox. Listen, I can't explain. I came up with all of those ideas myself. Are you telling me that you designed those villages, adventures, and challenges all by yourself? Bro, they're acting like he's like a single dev for like a Dark Souls game. This motherfucker made a stupid village on an island where you can walk around and do dumb quests. That is not... Like, is that impressive? Yeah. But is that f to the point where they're going to fly him out and be like, oh my god, you're like uh, one of the best devs. We want to hire you on our team. No. Well, yeah. Roblox is the most powerful gaming platform in the world. Well, what's your plan after you finish Quest for Everlost? That's just the first one. I have seven more I want to do. You know, just like Harry Potter or Star Wars. And you plan on doing these all by yourself? Yeah, that's why it's going to take a while. No, Russell. I don't think No, that's Russell. Gonna... We're going to give you a billion dollar check. Here you are. It's going to happen. Really? You're banning me? No, quite the opposite. We want to give you your own development team and welcome you to the Roblox family. Me? A part of Roblox Corporation? Not just part of it. We want to make you vice president of special markets. <laughs> what? <laughs> He made one game. He made one game. He didn't even finish it. He didn't even finish it. It has like 10 players. He's made like $15. His game isn't big. What? Vice President. I like the sound of that. And would it be acceptable to start you at a half a million dollars a year? Half a million dollars? Well... I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> Fine. I'll give you $750,000 a year, but I can't give you a raise, at least for your first 90 days. You know what? You got yourself a deal. Brock me. <laughs> <laughs> this man cheesing just, oh, you know what? I, I think I will take the, the fucking $750,000 a year. On second thought. We have won the Roblox showdown, but it looks like Russell's moved on to bigger and better things. Dude, he made one game. He made one game and they they hired him and made him vice president of markets. High caliber for the sub, uh, floating for the three. I want to point out the map he's bragging about is a template map on Roblox Studio. I'm sunny and fearless up for the sub. John, NXT, and pumped for the sub. NXT for the three. First Twitch channel, don't know how much it is. want to say I've been watching for a while. Never chat. Thank you. Bone saw for the three. Uh, watch your VODs because life busy. I want to tell you, I love your cuts out. Always uh, watching the streams. Also, shout out to my fellow New Hampshire folk. Mixy for the three. Uh, Fluffy is for the three. Boxman invented 2K. Invested 2K into a map he made with a couple other peeps. Really? Right for the sub elephant for the three. Watch your YouTube constantly. Numb for the three. If you need more mods, I'd love to be reviewed for mod. I'm pretty active chatter. Col Coloso for the sub. Cooper for the three. Can I be modded? No. Uh, C's for the for the five. My mods usually recommend other people for mod. Slippity Redeem Daisy Showcase. Did they really? C's for the five. Uh, X-Man for the sub. I think I'm caught up now. All right. Hold up. Next video. Let me go get Daisy real quick. Count me down 30 seconds.
Oh, no, I don't bubble it. Oh, no, I don't bubble it. Short Daisy Showcase. We got a lot of videos we gotta get through. Toby for the three. You know my dad owns Roblox. I could get you hooked up with some Robux. No need to thank me, Mexty, for the three. Say happy birthday to Mexty. Happy birthday, Mexty. All right. Next video. When genius prisoners trick cops to escape jail. Lock in. I'm gonna poop in here. Come on, I'm not, I'm not, Look at me. I'm gonna poop in here. I'm gonna poop inside here. I'm not gonna, I'm not threatening you. I'm not Earth, no. Do it right here. You gotta go. Pretending he wants to poop. You gotta go do it right here. They're telling him to take a shit on the fucking highway. Right here. I'm afraid of you, guys. No. That is not genius prisoners' tricks to escape jail. This guy just said he had a poop and then started running. Where would he have ran? Where would he have ran? Chat, how far down do you think the nearest area for him to, like, weave off the highway is? That looks like a mile away. This is just a fucking 40-foot wall, and he'd be running down a sidewalk for, like, a mile. This was the moment a prisoner tricked the police. This was the moment a prisoner tricked the police to escape. Yeah, we're gonna have to delete the VOD here. <laughs> we're gonna have to... Bro, oh my god. Can you guys not send me videos with fucking, like, some dude's pants falling down, dude? Oh my god. Stop. Now I'm literally scanning all the other ones. Stop. Oh, I should have fucking scanned this. Dude, I didn't think his pants would fucking fall down to his ankles, dude. God damn it. That's TOS. I mean, it's accidental. If anything, they'll just give me a warning. But, like, I didn't know that was going to fucking happen. That's why you could tell I was fucking drinking my drink, and I was like, what the fuck, dude? God. It was also very low quality, so you couldn't really, like, see it that well, but that sucks. Tyler, uh, Ty Tyron Woodley's ass flashbacks. That was way different, though. Tyron Woodley literally, like, p pulled his pants down, whereas this, this guy was running and his pants kind of fell down. Eh, it'll be fine. Donnie for the sub. Uh, lock back in here, chat can't believe that shit. I'm going to start playing. On July 15th, 2023, officers responded to multiple reports of a suspicious individual. XQC watched this video and nothing happened? Okay, good. It's not even age-restricted, so I'm assuming that it doesn't even count as nudity. Lurking around residents' backyards. What they were unaware of is that this individual was not only highly dangerous, but also adept at deception. You you went out for a jog? Yeah, jog all the time, yeah. Dressed like that? Hoodie, yeah. The hoodie and yeah, like hoodie, you're yeah. wearing dress pants and like <laughs> loafers. These are my uh, these are my running shoes. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what's your what's your first? You Wesley. look familiar. Wesley. Wes Anderson. What's your last name? Anderson. And Wes Anderson. Yeah. Why do you look familiar? You watch Portal? Yeah. <laughs> I, fought, I fought uh, professionally for a little bit. Do you have a warrant? I was gonna run or something. Oh. The police finally began to ask a serious question as the officers ran a background check on him. It Wait, turned out why did they pull him over? Because he was running in people's backyards? 
that he had an extensive list of active arrest warrants across various countries for offenses including assault, drug charges, and violations of court orders. He was initially transported to the hospital for a medical evaluation. He was then transferred to jail upon his release. However, as he made the transition from hospital to jail, he began to pull some funny stunts. Bro, but this is... Oh my God, see, now we're not watching his clip. We're not, we're not watching his clip. We're not watching his clip, bro. I'm not watching this motherfucker say he has to fake fucking poop. Uh, yeah, I'm literally skipping that, dude. Skipping that shit. Then turned off the body cam. Meanwhile, the suspect, who had carjacked a commuter's vehicle, later abandoned the stolen red van and then carjacked a Camaro. This decision would ultimately seal his fate. The suspect proceeded to drive from Illinois all the way to Wisconsin. Police soon spotted him. Isn't that like one state away? How far of a fucking drive is Illinois to Wisconsin? Actually, that might be like two states. Initiating a tense and exciting car chase. <laughs> Good maneuver there. Good maneuver there, brother. You're going down the wrong way, sign there. Up oh, and the guy's running to be having across fun the road. Effortlessly evaded the they didn't expect that. Bikes and booby traps set by the officers. However, after some time, the car began to slow down. Not because he was giving up, but unknown to him, the car was equipped with an OnStar feature, allowing it to be remotely deactivated. This deactivation ensured That's a thing? They can just auto shut off your car if they if somebody fucking steals it. Third, Wesley's inevitable apprehension. Wow, his car shut itself off. Well, it's not his car. Stop! 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 All right. Why are you putting your gun at me, please? It's okay, easy. It's this close, sir? Let me see your oh, other no. hand. Let's see your hands. hands are right here, sir. Okay. Please do not taste this. Shoot me, please. Please don't get on my face. Somebody got a scissors. We can cut that, cut that belt and yank him out. Wait, is this the poop guy? Is this the same dude? Don't hit me, guys. Please, yeah, hit me. Yeah, no, no, no. Please don't hit me. Kenosha police officers clearly had no time for his games. Nah, it looks like somebody else. He was arrested and charged with first. Oh my god, it was the other guy. It was the same guy? Wait, so he said he had to take a shit and they couldn't catch him? GMC. Man. He could definitely run. Oh my god, he ran down the highway and stole somebody's car. What? Okay. Are as to deceive a car. Somebody got a scissors. We can cut that, cut that belt and yank him out. Don't hit me, guys. Please don't hit me. Kenosha police officers clearly had no time for his games. He was arrested and charged with first degree reckless endangerment, assaulting an officer, attempting to disarm an officer, fleeing from an officer, unauthorized vehicle operation, and numerous outstanding felony warrants. You might consider this prisoner exceptionally clever, but wait until you meet the next criminal who went so far as to deceive a cop into helping him in stealing a car. Police officers responded to a call after a neighbor reported two men lurking around, peeping into people's cars. Upon arrival, officers spotted a shirtless man wearing shorts in a house garage. You got a call because of going through. Is this your vehicle? Maintaining near-perfect composure, he swiftly removed his shirt upon spotting the cops, portraying the scene as if he was the homeowner and had been oh, awakened. Oh, like he lives there. I was going to say, is that his fucking garage? I mean, that still wouldn't make me think that you live there. You just being shirtless in a random garage that's open... I would still think that that might not be your house. ...from sleep by the officers, and the officer's subsequent request would further assist him in executing his plan. Take a look in the truck and see if it's... You know, uh, oh my god, it's not even his car and the cop's gonna open it. Okay, doors are open. Mistakenly convinced that the criminal was the homeowner, they requested him to inspect his truck for any missing items. The truck turned out not to be locked this whole time, so he effortlessly opened the truck door without keys. Furthermore, when the officer requested identification, it only served to further work in his favor. Do you have some ID on you? Okay. He made a run for it while the officer assumed he had gone indoors to retrieve his ID after waiting for some time. That is, like, actually fucking smart as shit, though. Yeah, his short's long as fuck. Yeah, I don't know how far he's gonna be able to run in those. But, dude, oh, you got some ID? Oh, yeah, let me go get it. All right, yeah, we'll wait. They probably give him, like, two minutes. I'd just be balting.
time, they realized the man was the criminal they were searching for, and he had successfully fled. Would they ever find him, though? Like, they know what he looks like, but they don't know who he is. Like, say he does get away and goes to his house. Would they find him? Probably not. Just because they don't even know his, they don't know who he is. Unless he had, like, an already outstanding criminal record. Like, they would just be like, this guy. Like, I mean, they might be able to find him if they thoroughly search. Are they really going to look that bad, though? They would put wanted posters with a bounty. Dude, what is this? A fucking video game? They actually put wanted posters with bounties. Yo, anybody remember Dog the Bounty Hunter? That show was the fucking shit. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Him and his wife. And then he would have, like, two other guys. If you've never seen that show, it would literally just be some dude with, like, really long hair. Fucking jacked as shit. I gotta find a picture of that. And they would just fucking try and find, like, murderers. <laughs> and, like, arrest them. He, they would, like, break into their house and fucking tase them and be like... We're bounty hunters. They're not even cops. This guy. Fucking tan as hell. Dog the bounty hunter. Imagine imagine you have a warrant for a warrant and like a bounty on your head, and this guy breaks into your fucking house and tases the shit out of you and, and fucking arrests you. He's not even a cop. He's not even a cop. He's just a dude, right? He's just a guy, and he's like, you know, I'm just picking up this bounty. Somebody redeemed flex. I would sue. I don't know if you can. Wait, do, do you have to have, like, credibility to be a bounty hunter? Is Dog the Bounty Hunter a cop? Oh, he has law enforcement experience and training. Yeah, but, like, are bounty hunters cops? No. It's like its own business later once the officers had cleared the scene the same suspect returned and stole the unlocked truck managing to escape once again if you're enjoying the video so far please don't forget to like and subscribe it's difficult to determine whether the prisoner was too smart or if the cops were simply too naive however the next prisoner is undeniably a genius as there was no way the cop could tell that he's a prisoner what is we got an escapee oh shit. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not no damn prison escape. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> you know that yourself. <laughs> yeah. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> we got a damn prisoner escapee. We've been looking all over for him. You seen him? No, officer. I haven't seen that man. Yeah, it can't be you. You would have been. You would have been. You would have been high. You've been getting out of here by now. Anyways, uh, where are you? Where are you going to? Uh, you know, just walking around. <laughs> I'm just walking around, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Why do you got a prisoner jumpsuit on, son? I'm just, you know, is it? it's not Halloween. It's like fucking July. How do they not know? They don't know who they're looking for. They're just looking for a guy that's running. On May 4th, 2006, the entire Pollock area was placed on lockdown by the police following the escape of a convicted felon, Richard Lee McNair, who had previously managed to escape twice. He was spotted by an officer, a moment that would typically signify the end of an escape. But watch how this remarkably smart inmate convinced the cop to let him go. You, you live around here, boss? Is there anybody that actually escapes prison, like, within the last 20 years and, and didn't go back? It's just going to make you stay there longer. I never understand the idea of trying to escape prison because, like, they're going to find you. And then when they do, now you're just going to be there even longer. Like, say you have, like, a two-year sentence and you escape prison. Now it's a fucking five-year sentence. For sure? No. How many, how many people have escaped prison in the U.S. 2023? It says in 2019, 2,200 inmates escaped from a state or federal prison. That's a lot. Like, I would have thought that it was like 10, you know, like 10 guys, maybe. 2,231 people in 2019. How many people have escaped prison and never been caught, you ask? It's not even going to show me. It says one study published in 2016 analyzed 500 prison escapees in 2009 and said 92% were captured. 
Yeah, but that means 8% of the people just were never found. Where did they go? Where do you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's your name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh-huh. I'm not supposed to be on the track. No, that's not the problem right now. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. The roofing. Roofing? Yep. Okay. For my brother. All right. <sighs> oh. Wow, that is like smart off the dome now. What is? We got an escapee. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where from? Uh, prison. Prison here? Yeah. Man, it's hot. The suspects provided the officer with the name Robert Jones, a detail that would prove significant later in their interaction. The officer proceeded. Do you think he just lets him go? No way. He's just like, well, you have a nice day now. Uh, you too. I'll see. You. you know, if you ever need a roofer, give me a holler. To radio dispatch to obtain a description of the escapee, aiming to confirm whether he wasn't making a huge mistake. Hey, this call. Subject wore glasses. Nothing about glasses. Can you find out? I'm out with a white male on the tracks at uh, Gilly Williams. You can call my little brother. What about? Take your glove off. Yeah. Any tattoos or anything? Yeah. Flip it over. No, no. Just... No, nah, he's clean. I'm gonna do something. Oh, 50 years old. <laughs> how old is your guy? You're how old? 50. I was born in 56. Oh, he's capping about his age, too. That motherfucker's probably like 35. He said born in 56. 58. Uh, any kind of details you can give me, huh? Uh, Color eyes you got? Green? Well, uh, kind of a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue? Yeah. <laughs> you want to give me some more? <laughs> they ain't got like a picture of this motherfucker? I know it's 2006, but come on. They're looking for a fucking... They're looking for an escaped prisoner, and they don't even know who they're looking for? It's 113 degrees outside. Holy fuck. Where is this, Texas? 113. That's why he's sweating, too. He probably told him he was on a run. That motherfucker probably had a run for, like, half a mile. Probably even longer, dude. It seems like he's never even near the prison. He's, oh, there's a prison around here? 113 degrees. I would faint.
stepped up when he told the officer. Ah, dude, he gave the wrong. What was the first name he gave? Like Robert. Yo, you know what's fucked is like I want him to get out. <laughs> Yo. I want him. I want him to trick this cop. I want him to trick this cop. Dude, oh god, I want I want the cop to be like, all right, well you have a nice day now, and he just walks away. Officer, his name was Jimmy Jones, contradicting the earlier mention of Robert Jones, some uh. genius. Strangely, the officer failed to notice the inconsistency. I mean, honestly, yeah, he's probably it, the the officer's probably thinking about a million things right now, so he might have not. Noticed. Step in my position. Well, yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I know I'm not. I'm not. I'm not you throwing you against them. Hey, you wouldn't believe what them guys do. I mean, they got years and years to think about how they're going to do it. Now, uh, when I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, well, how lucky can I be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no prison escapee. All right. This was the last sighting of Richard for the next 18 months. However, yo, for a year and a half? Nah. He got away that long. I thought they would have caught him like that night. Like that night. They were like, they probably realized. In October 2007. Bro, he got in 2007 was arrested for driving a stolen truck. Yo, you think he would have fucking, you think he would have never been caught? If he just never fucking, I mean, nah, that was also 2007. He probably would have been caught in like the early 2010s. Richard was apprehended in New Brunswick after being identified driving a stolen vehicle. The next prisoner out. You just can't get work. That's the issue. Like, especially today. I mean, even in the 2000s, like if you say you do escape prison. Yeah. Like realistically, all you got to do is just not fucking commit a crime. And they're probably not going to know that, you know, you have a warrant on your name, but you also can't get a job. Like, if you want to work, you need to show who you are, and you need to pay taxes, and it's going to be weird if you're...
know yet was that this is 30-year-old Raymond Lopez, who had just escaped from the nearby New Mexico penitentiary. Dude, no shot this has happened multiple times. By simply opening a door and jumping the fence. During the ride to a shelter to get Raymond's shoes, his luck seemed to run out as something unexpected happened. Oh man, they just put out an alarm that somebody either escaped from the jail or escaped from the prison. I didn't that's not you. Despite his denial, Raymond was eventually identified as the escapee, fitting the description perfectly. He was subsequently returned to prison and Damn. faced additional charges of lying to an officer and escaping from prison. What the hell is the charge for lying to an officer? Is that like a is that like a federal a federal th lying to an officer? Was that like a month? Like how is that a, how is that I got to ban this guy that just keeps spamming. Hold up. The next suspect took evading the police to an unprecedented level. On March 7th, 2022... Don't tell me he acts injured. Oh, no. Pulaski Sheriff deputies were transporting inmate Joel Sanchez Delgado, who is confined to a wheelchair. He better get up at that wheelchair and start running. Hey, you see a shoe back there? Where is it? Moments away from entering the courthouse, the officer's attention was briefly diverted, and that's when Delgado striked. Wow. Nah, <laughs> that's scary as fuck. Holy shit. Imagine being on the dash and the guy, the, you hear the guy, big ass feet. Boom, 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 boom. Ch the keys. Oh, I'm gonna catch you.
What's your problem? My damn radio came. Hold on. The suspect not only miraculously appeared to be healed, but he also managed to outrun the officer, revealing that his supposed injuries were never real. The officer found himself at a disadvantage as he wasn't with his radio to call for backup. Hello. Hey, who? The wheelchair dude got up and ran. Yeah. I couldn't catch his ass. And my radio was in the well, I had my camera on, though. The wheelchair He's just dude. walking away with this guy's phone. I couldn't catch him. Bill. Tim's had pulled off. Yeah. He's literally walking away with this guy's phone. I, I can't even remember his name. He's on the run. Sir, officer, officer, my... No, oh, oh, he just starts it. He sees him and he breaks out in a sprint, still holding the guy's phone. I'm like, I need, I need my phone back. He eventually managed to call for backup using a passerby's phone, but by then, Delgado was long gone. Hours later, the police apprehended Delgado, who now faced an additional charge of third degree escape. You can call him. What is that? What is that charge? Yo, little peep for the sub and Kibo for the 50! Dub in the chat. Thank you for the $50 donate. Now, W. Joe, if you could visit Scotland, where would you go? I have no idea. I know nothing about Scotland. You're my inspiration. I appreciate you. Well, thank you for the nice message. Thank you for the fucking $50 donate. My God. Professor X, convict. The next case isn't just the toughest. It's the most epic. This escapee managed to elude the police for over two weeks. Watch how he did it. On April 29th, 2022, Casey White, an inmate at Lauderdale County Jail awaiting trial for a capital murder case, escaped with the assistance of his lover, Warden Vicky White. Despite not Warden. being related, Vicky fell deeply in love. Oh. Inmate at Lauderdale County Jail awaiting trial for a capital murder case escaped with the assistance of his lover, Warden Vicky White. Despite not being related, Vicky fell. Oh, not being related. Chat, I swear to God. Am I crazy or did y'all hear despite being related? Not being related. Deeply, the assistance of his lover, Warden Vicky White. Despite not being related, Vicky fell deeply in love, opened the prison doors for Casey, and together they fled in a stolen car. After being on the run for 11 days, U.S. Marshals finally tracked them down in Indiana. During a car pursuit initiated by authorities, an accidental 911 call revealed Casey and Vicky arguing. Oh. An accidental 911 call. 911. Hello? Vicky appeared scared and asked Casey to stop the car before they both got killed. But moments after, gunshots were heard, where Vicky was said to have shot herself in the head. Moments later, U.S. Marshals rammed into their car, rendering it immobile, and they quickly subdue the suspects. With Casey secured, the officers quickly tend to Vicky in an attempt to save her life. How did she shoot herself in the head, but she's still alive? She was rushed to the hospital, where she later succumbed to her injuries. Meanwhile, Casey was transferred to a maximum security prison, where he faced additional charges for the prison break. If you enjoy videos like wow. this... Wow. Should be illegal for cops to shut off body cams? What does that have to do with this video? Richard's a genius. However, his failure to keep a positive, non-criminal mindset after two years was his downfall. Yeah, no, that was the that was the most interesting one. Him just having a conversation with a guy and being like, "Yeah, dude." Michaela for the thousand biddies. What happens if you're driving and see a guy running from a cop and you hit the guy with your car? Do you get in trouble or do you get thanked? If you hurt him, you're gonna get in trouble. But I think if you tackled him, that'd be different. Like if you're walking down the road and some guy's running from a cop and you just fucking body bag him. Right, you fucking pile drive his ass into a wall. I don't think you're in trouble, right? Because you stepped in. That's like a civilian stepping in and like helping. You like you trip him or something like that. You would get sued. I don't think you would get sued. Like if a guy's running from the cops and you trip his ass and he face plants, you're not. You just helped. You're not in trouble. I would assume. 
I think that's like a civilian arrest type thing. But if you're like driving down a highway and you see a guy running from the cops and you go, ah, and fucking run him over and kill him, uh, I think you're in trouble. Well, be for the sub because you just killed somebody, right? That would be that would be murder or manslaughter, right? That would be that would be you actually just running somebody over and killing them. Uh, all right. The worst kid on kick. Lock in. So someone who never really gets the blame for anything that happens on kick is the owner, Eddie, or as I like to call him, Aiden's butt buddy. This guy chose quite possibly the best person to be the face of his company, knowing that in the long run, Aiden is just that match that starts the fire, but inevitably burns up becoming useless. Kick is only two years old, and they still have a lot of time. What does Aiden do on stream? What do kick streamers do? Should we go investigate the world of kick? What's going on on kick.com? Probably nothing right now, if I had a guess. There's a few Turkish streamers that have a lot of viewers. But if I filter towards English... Oh, it still says they're English, but that's not... That doesn't make sense. There's a lot of slot streamers. Gamble, nudity, yeah. But, like, what does Aiden do? Like, I haven't watched an Aiden Ross. Does he have his VODs up? Like, what is he doing? Aiden Ross. How do you spell fucking Aiden Ross? How do you spell Aiden? Aiden Ross. Oh, my God. How do you spell his fucking name? Aiden. A oh, okay, here it is. A-D-I-N. It's just state gambling. And him in Vegas. And in Jamaica. Hold up. Murphy, get over here. <laughs> you come in. Can I do a pose Oh my god, that's literally okay. him and they're just they're just doing IRL shit. Oh my god. Hit. Lock it, beat me in it, don't they? Just them, Mason. just them gambling yeah. for fucking five yeah. hours. What? Yeah. It's just them gambling. It's literally just them gambling. Uh, Nej for the three. I want to suck your toes. Oh my god. Leon for the sub. Kibo for the five. What is Kick? It's a different streaming platform. Punting for the three and Bugsy for the three. So my first MMA fight in the Discord, if you could watch it someday. Um, I'm fighting May 24th, the same promotion as live stream, and it's on Friday if you want to watch, uh, the live MMA fights too. I wouldn't be able to watch it on stream, but I might be able to tune in just because that's probably got copyright claims on that. Before they find the face of their company that doesn't have a group of friends who make the special needs kids look normal. I get that you guys want to make money as fast as you can, but there's no excuse for not taking the time to learn basic first grade knowledge. I am- I feel like a lot of kick streams are IRL- I'm going to be an asshole type streams, right? Either, I mean, like, Aiden's not, I'm going to be an asshole. He's just fucking gambling or interviewing rappers. But a lot of it's just, like, walking around in public and being a menace. Going and pissing people off in, in, in Miami. Going to L.A. and starting fights with random strangers confident that if you asked any of them any first grade questions from are you smarter than a fifth grader none of the hours of direct sunlight does the south pole receive on june 21st yo what first grader would know that answer 30 you're a dumbass how many hours of direct sunlight it's either 20 or zero None of the people associated with Aiden could answer them, and I'd put my fucking nuts on that. But Eddie doesn't realize that because he's placing Aiden on this pedestal of immunity, and his ban lengths for things that are literally illegal are like if a sex offender got a haircut instead of actually going to jail, the kids who try to be exactly like Aiden also think they're going to get special treatment so long as they go viral and bring more viewers to the website. When in reality, Eddie could care less about you and your non-Jewish penis. I think every time- If somebody- if I was eating and somebody reached into my meal and took one of my fucking chips or touched my food, I would fucking- I would gorilla grab their fucking arm and body slam them on the floor.
Like, if you just t just started, t I would immediately, I would immediately go like that. That would be my guttural reaction. You reach in my food, I'm just going fucking, just whole canned, just grabbing your arm, fucking making him drop it. In your non-Jewish penis. I think every time I've made a video on Aiden, he has mentioned that Eddie is watching him stream, which is probably the only time in the history of jobs that someone is excited that their boss is watching their every move. But for this video, we're staying with the kick streamer theme and we're staying with someone who's been mentioned on here before. If you guys remember, a couple weeks back, Neon was- Is it Neon in prison in Dubai for like a year now or something? I saw, I saw something that he was, like, illegally filming in Dubai and got arrested for a year. Is he going to get out? That's scary. That's, like, I would never do an IRL stream in a, in a foreign country. I don't think, it, it, I, if I did, I would, I would ask them, like, what are the rules here, right? Because going to a foreign prison is horrifying. Like, imagine getting arrested in Dubai, or Mexico, or fucking Singapore, the Philippines, just any prison where th their main language isn't English. Like, yeah, you get arrested in Australia, that's, like, fucking one thing, but, like, you get arrested in, like, fucking some random country, you don't speak their language, I'd be like, dude, what the fuck do I do? Streaming with this kid, which ended up with neon- I feel like Dubai's the least scary, I don't know their prison system. Get the least scary would be Norway. If you got arrested in, like, Norway, you'd probably be chilling. Like, a Nordic country, if you were, like, they, I mean, they probably wouldn't even arrest you. I, in all honesty. I, I, this, if you were filming in Norway, they'd be like, just turn off your camera. The cop would be, like, doing nothing. Serial killers in Norway have, like, homes. They get, um, they get, like, knives, and they have, like, TVs and shit. Their prison system is so different than the U.S. It's all about, like, reformation rather than, like, punishment. And so you're not actually, like, in a crammed cell with 50 other people fucking sweating your balls off. Where's the worst country? Chat, what's the last country you would want to be, want to be arrested in? North Korea. I think is just immediately, immediately my guttural outside of North Korea. Outside of North Korea, what's the, what's the worst country to be arrested in? Yeah, maybe like Somalia or something like that. Somewhere where they have crowded prisons. Maybe India. I, I remember I used to watch videos on like the what's what country has the most crowded prison? Where's the one where there's like rats on the floor? The Congo, Haiti, and the Philippines and Uganda have the crowdest have the most crowded prisons. The Republic of Congo is 616% past their capacity. Yeah, that would be the worst. Where you're, like, sleeping on the floor with, like, piss and shit everywhere, that would be worse. Jamaica? No. I still feel like that wouldn't even be... Just anywhere where it's overcrowded is going to be the worst. Haiti and the Philippines is usually is what it's saying. Yeah, getting arrested in the Philippines would suck. Look at this. This would be this would be so much worse than I would rather go to a Russian prison than this. Look at this. And that's not even a jail cell. This is like the open courtyard. This is like oh my god. They're all laying on floor right next to each other, body to body, just fucking absolutely crowded. And that's not even like the worst pictures. Like this. Oh, what is this? Oh, this looks awful, too. Dude, this is fucking terrible. Holy shit. I mean, this looks like they're doing something because they're, like, making them all stand there, but what the fuck, dude? Yeah, no, that would be worse. I'm getting so mad he actually regressed into his old self. Now, after this came out, people started to realize that this kid Neon was yelling at is actually a bigger piece of shit than anyone could imagine. This kid is a prime example of how social media has ruined someone's perspective on reality. He actually thinks that just because a camera is following him, he is untouchable. But then you actually watch his streams and he's squaring up the someone's mom. And you're like, is this who he's are we picking on? No way a kid who has a head as fucked up as this is going to pick on someone's mom. Star speed with somebody's Oh my god. Is this the oh my god, is it the table he grabs the chip from?
<laughs> I grabbed her tortilla chip. <laughs> I put my hands in her food. <laughs> that was funny. Taking that big food. Tell him. You can go fuck yourself. It's, it's always funny, though, that they never beef with somebody that would dust them, you know? Like, this kid's, like, 5'2". Like, like, he grabbed it from, like, this nice mother's table, right? Like, just like a, a, a fucking... She looks like a, a stand-up a stand up woman, you know? Just like, she's gonna be like, like oh, if you, like, if you fell, she'd have a band-aid for you, right? She would, like, just a random stranger, she'd help out on the street. The only guy that I've ever seen fuck with, like, actually, like, people that are bigger than them is Jack Doherty, but only because he is a security guard. Like, this kid is not going to walk up to somebody that's, like, 220 and be like, I'd fucking kick your ass, pal. I'd fucking put your teeth into the ground. Oh, He's the type of kid to go kick a grandma. What the fuck? Put your hand in my food again, and I'm throwing <laughs> And I'll kick your ass. Good fucking shit. Yes! All of your oh, I would fucking football spike that. Ooh, I would football spike the shit out of that stupid camera. Oh, he'd cry too. Oh, that would be hilarious. He's shoving his camera in your face. You just go, bang, and just hit him with that fucking. Hey, you're not touching our phone. Don't put your don't put your hand in my food again. Do not do that. You don't do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. You're a nobody. It's it's a lie. You're a nobody. You're a fucking bro. You're a nobody. Everybody's a nobody. Nobody cares about what fucking stupid clout you have. Oh my god. I'm not going in public fucking beefing with people and be like, Who do you think you are? I am! No, fucking, what the fuck? You're just a random guy. Everybody's a- Dude, e even if it was like Drake. You don't put your fucking hands in other people's food. It don't matter how much clout you have. Everybody's a nobody. You're a nobody, Joe? I know! I'm not saying I'm someone. I'm saying everyone's a nobody. That's just of an inflated ego, bro. Oh my god. See, that's the it, that's the issue with getting big when you're younger, dude. Oh my god. You just immediately just think you're the shit. I mean, I told you guys I had that problem like fucking three years, three, four years ago when I started out. I thought I was the fucking shit, dude. I was like, oh my god, I have fucking internet clout. Who fucking cares, man? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make you better than anybody, man. Oh. Like, swear to God, when, like, when, when, like, influencers get big, when they're, like, this kid's probably, like, 15. They just immediately fucking get egoed. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? you? Give me the phone. Now you're not touching my fucking phone. Touch my phone, I'm gonna actually do something about it. Wait, you know, you I'm gonna actually do something about it. Oh, my God. I would hit with that fucking... Wham! Wham! Holy shit! <laughs> Yo, she would kick his ass. She would kick his ass. It's not, I don't, dude, him talking shit like that. Oh my God. If he got his ass kicked by like a mom, that would be fucking disrespectful. Yo, back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. I will, I will. <laughs> Somebody would even punch the boxing guy. Refund that shit. Actually, no, I'll do that. Hold up. Hold on, I'm about to power punch the shit out of this fucking thing. Hit him with that fucking... Uh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Hold on. Oh, oh shit! Oh, fuck it. Light, it knocked my light over. All right, lock back in. J-Lo for the sub. Seahawks for the three. Dumb hypothetical scenario. If Kim Jong-un went to California and robbed a jewelry store, would he go to jail? Ooh. 
Now. No. Uh, and hear me out. He wouldn't go to jail, but he would never be allowed back in the United States. He would not go to the jail. He would not go to jail because he is the supreme leader. And if they did arrest him, that would cause like a massive problem. Like if he, if if Kim Jong Un, like for some reason, was in like the U.S. and like robbed a bank, and then left, they would just never allow him back in. But they would, they would say you have to leave. I don't think they would arrest him. Like or like even with like Vladimir Putin. Or any big leader. Like, if you're, like, a mayor or, or a fucking governor, they don't give a shit. Right? But if you're, like, the... If you're, like, Xi Jinping, and Xi Jinping comes to the United States and fucking pickpockets somebody, they're not gonna arrest him for that. XX for the three. Getting thrown in prison in Russia. Proxy for the three. Neon just goes around, bullies people, and hides behind his security guards. That's, like, most kick streamers, though. Not most kick streamers. Most kick streamers that do public streams. Treeble for the sub. Hector for the three. Thanks for feeding me with dopamine. Uh, I already read the other one. Hold up. And Joe, uh, Joe Bart fan for the three. Happy Thanksgiving. It is not Thanksgiving. How old are you five? How old are you five? Now, I would say pick on someone your own size, but then that would mean he actually has a pair of fucking balls. She even says, how old are you five? In the hopes that he says, no, I'm actually this age, giving her a gauge on whether or not she could punch this kid in his fuck. Yeah, that is facts. I would not, I wouldn't fight this kid. If he punched me though, oh no, it's all over. It, it's all over. I would not, I, if this kid started yelling at me, I would, I would be yelling at him back. But the second he punched me, I would fucking, it would be over. Y equal rights, equals fight, equal fights. I think, well, that's, in t that's not, that has nothing to do with the scenario, number one. And I think fighting a woman is only applicable in self-defense where you are about to, like, die. Like, if a woman starts wailing on me, I'm going to push her off of me, but I'm not going to punch her. But if she's, like, to the point where she could actually, like, kill me, that's different. Or if she has a weapon, right? Or, like, in this scenario, like, this kid's probably, like, fucking 100 pounds and, like, fucking, like, 14. Like, if he, if he started beefing with me, I wouldn't fight him. But if he started punching me in the face, it's over, right? It's over. Uh, it's going to be that Loki. You remember that scene from uh, The Hulk with Loki? Where he grabs him by his ankles and starts going like, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, no. I wouldn't fight this kid, but if he started, like, actually trying to harm me, I would kill him. It would be, it would, it would be, it would be over. I also like how he's telling her to back up as he's fearing for his life, clutching his fist because his fight or flight response just kicked in when being confronted by a fucking lady. Just kidding, I... Women are just as equal. But I also mean, there have been scenarios where I've been in public and argued with kids like him. Where they were, like, being annoying, and I was like, bro, shut the fuck up. And he's like, bro, who the fuck are you? Wearing his, like, neon Nike socks and a fucking flat brim hat. And I'm like, bro, fucking figure it out. <laughs> you think you're the shit. You think you're the shit. You'll get over it. Ian Massive for the sub. So look at this weirdo behind her acting like he's going to sucker punch her, then realizes that, oh yeah, we're the ones who caused this because we were touching her food. Now obviously bullying is unnecessary, but selective bullying actually needs to be a thing because these are the kind of kids whose parents have way too much money to pay attention to them, so they virtually get no discipline other than what they bring Do you think he makes money though? And who are his chatters, bruh? Who are his chatters? Knock, knock, clip this. This, that, no, this funny as hell. He really showed her. On themselves. And what's weird to me is that no one around them is doing anything. <laughs> now, some, now somebody, you see that one chatter? That one chatter, yo, you're 12, chill out. One of them is doing anything. We about to leave if you don't crash out in 10 Whenever minutes. Whenever one of these Three assholes ban. streamers does something to someone in public, no one tries to stop them. Do you understand that I pray that one of these streamers comes up to me and tries some shit? I will- Oh my god! Yo, no, actually that would be fucking hilarious. You're just standing there, this kid goes up to you and he starts like big dog- Like I'm literally just walking in public and Jack Doherty just comes up to me and just fucking body checks me. I would think I was in the fucking Truman Show. I would be like, there's no way this is happening right now. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually getting trolled by a fucking kick streamer right now. I've never thought this would happen. Rip their camera out of their fucking hands and pay a homeless man to continue the stream until the phone dies and then have sex with it. I'll get Dirty Mike and the boys to have an- Oh, I'd fucking throw it in the ocean, man. Oh, that would be hilarious. She, imagine she grabbed his camera and just ran to the fucking beach. 
their camera out of their fucking hands. He'd be like, give me it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no, don't throw my phone out. I don't know. I don't have my Supercell account saved. I'm going to lose all my Clash of Clans progress. and pay a homeless man to continue the stream until the phone dies and then have sex with it. I'll get Dirty Mike and the boys to have an... What is this guy saying right now? These streamers comes up to me and... Who is it? Pl Plantation Soup. Now that's Try funny. some shit? I will rip their camera out of their fucking hands and pay a homeless man to continue the stream until the phone dies and then have sex with it. I'll get Dirty Mike and the boys to have an orgy on your phone. Here's what we're talking about. We're talking about a bunch of hobos with fingers in each other's pooper in a stranger's car with talk radio playing really loud. It's gonna be a nice evening. And yes, I have thought this out and go through it step by step every night. And for good reason, because other than wanting to fight some lady just trying to enjoy her lunch, he finally found someone that he can hit without making himself look worse than he already had. Nah, this kid would kick his ass, bruh. Nah, this kid would fucking kick his ass, bro. Someone that he can hit with without making himself look worse than he already has. Yeah, what up? Yeah, what up? Yeah, what up? Yeah, what up? <laughs> Watch out! He's 2v1-ing them. Watch out! Damn. Watch out, bro! He's fucking going. <laughs> fucking getting, getting ready to wind one up. Oh, I oughta... Oh, I oughta show you! Let's go! Oh, dear. What are these punches? Yeah, that's how you break your arm, though. Like, dead ass. That's how you dislocate your fucking arm when you throw a wide-ass swing like that. Oh, dear. What? What, what up? Yeah. Who's this guy stepping up? Who's this guy stepping up? Now, just like the last time, he is backing up for his life, and it's not until his boyfriend comes in and sucker punches this guy does he feel it's safe enough for him to throw his own punch. Straight up, I'll just call the cops on him. That would ruin his day. That would, that would ruin his day. Yeah, no, straight, uh, dude, because he punched him. He punched him. He assaulted me. He assaulted, I'd be a Karen. You want to be a Karen? If he's going to be like a fucking dickhead Chad, you just be the reverse Karen, right? And now and now he's just going to fuck it. And now the cops are going to be like, bro, come on. All this shit. The only punch he threw, by the way, but he still has the audacity to say, Who's this guy stepping to? Who's this guy bringing his nuts and stepping to? Who's this guy stepping up to? Who's this guy stepping up to? He's stepping to you, you fucking virgin. <laughs> That's probably the worst insult you can give this guy. If your <laughs> friend wasn't there, your cameraman would have recorded you getting your ass beat. And I slowed it down, and this actual lady didn't even punch this guy. He open and slapped him, just like he does when he catches his boyfriend. He didn't even hit him, though. And like I said, notice how right after he creates the- Throws in the slacks and the Jesus shoes, too. Maximum distance between- He's fucking standing there like, bro, give it up. Between him and the kid he hit, because he knows he got lucky with that slap, and it's going to take a miracle for him to land a second hit. And what's crazy is that he's doing this for no one. And I don't mean like he's doing this for his own entertainment, but I mean like- no one is watching this. On anyone else's stream, the chat would be going crazy right now with people Oh my god, it is literally five people. Oh my god. I don't want to say it just, it does, I don't want to, see, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, when I, I, like, his point is that regardless of people watching it or not, it doesn't justify it, and that's true. But it would make more sense to me if he had like 5,000 viewers. Or like 10,000 viewers, you know? Like, if you got like 10k viewers and you're picking fights with people in public, alright, I understand why you're motivated to do this, right? Because you're getting paid. But there's like five people. Like, that's, that's one, two, three, four... Five, six. Six people are in chat. Spamming W's, L's, emojis, whatever. But look at his chat. This same racist message can be seen throughout the whole 20 second clip, meaning there was probably a hundred people watching the stream at most, if even. And on top of that, there's only five people using the chat. And then the icing on the cake that got him banned was him smoking. Obviously, he's a child and what? underage smoking on any platform goes against the rules, meaning I can't show you it, but it's not, he doesn't take a fat hit like just. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> He barely takes a small little- I thought that was gonna be the rest of the video. Bill Clinton size puff and acts like he just did some crazy shit for the stream. Pressure, go follow him. <laughs> nah, I gotta let you hit it now. Yeah. I gotta let you hit it. No oh, you got followers? Up. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Wait, what is it? What is it? Oh, what is that? Oh my god, that would have been hilarious if it was like Salvia. It's weed, bro. It's weed, bro. It's just that, it's that good kush. It's just, it's fucking Salvia Divinorum. Oh, man. Oh, thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. It just actually starts fucking, it's fentanyl. Now, I don't know. I don't think you can, why would he have fentanyl on a fucking, why would he have fentanyl on a fucking blunt? Oh shit! See, oh, you it. And now he dropped someone's it. Someone's fucking your bitch. Fucking oh fuck, bitch. fucking his bitch. Someone's fucking your bitch. Oh no, nah, he hit it. One more knock. Oh. Shit. He immediately throws up. Hey yo. yo for the hey, fucking yo. stream. Yo, Anything for hey. the content. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anything for the content. I'll do meth. Anything for the content, guys. Chat, chat. If this video gets a hundred thousand likes. I'll do fucking heroin. Right now. Right? Somebody give me the belt. Strap me up. Right? Anything for the content. Yeah, bro. I'm sure those five people in your chat were loving this. Anything for the sh This really... If this really hits, I'll try fentanyl. <laughs> Dreamboat, but you're a fucking wild one. The streets can't handle you. Mind you, it's a beautiful street, cul-de-sac, two-story houses, everyone has a pool. But they can't handle a little Dorito Dome if they tried. And this isn't the first time he's gotten banned. Apparently, after that situation with Neon, he claimed that he got his account deleted as revenge. And it's like, I hate Neon as much as the next guy. But in hindsight, I'm pretty sure it was anything but Neon that got your account banned. And like I mentioned in the beginning, kick... See, I think that's the difference for me. Like, I don't want to say it makes sense for Neon, but Neon makes a bag, right? Like, Neon's being a fucking dickhead in public, but he's also making hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Versus this kid who probably made like $30, fucking smoked on stream, picked two fights, and had like 100 viewers. Like, it's not worth it. It doesn't really enforce... It. Like, how much... Chat, how much would you have to make in, like, a two-hour stream for you to go out in public and do this? Like, what this kid did. Dude, like, a fucking 100 grand. Like, 100 grand. Like, uh, a, a shitload of money. 500 bucks. 5K. $100 for real. Bro, you would pick a fight with two people and smoke some random guy's fucking weed for $100. You're like that friend that'll, that, dude, I have one friend in my friend group that we would just pay him to do stupid shit. You're that guy. And I'm not making fun of you, right? I respect it. But, like, I have one friend that we paid him $20 to eat a raw yam. Like a fully raw yam that just got out of the ground, covered in dirt. Like, like rock hard, ate the whole thing, threw up for $20. Like that, like, it was, oh, 20 bucks? 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Like that, like, I, I will say 20 bucks is 20 bucks, but I ain't going to be doing anything for 20 bucks. Any of their rules, and when they do, it lasts the length of a long weekend, making it a hundred- I'm still getting mad as fuck. Dude, I know I make money on social media too, but some motherfuckers be like, oh, Joe, you make money. Dude, I'll do like poker nights with my friends for like a $10 buy-in. I'll mauled when I lose. Off 10 bucks. $10 is $10, bro. Like, I'll be, I'll, I mean, I'm having fun. I'm not like sitting there walking out of that like pissed. But like, if, I, if I'm playing like poker with my friends and I lose $10, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I just fucking lost $10. Like, that actually upsets me. $5 is $5. How much money would you have to lose to be upset about it? Ten bucks. If I lost five bucks, if I like five dollars in twenty twenty four is like worthless. 
if I'm being, what are you going to buy with $5? 10 bucks is like a meal or a drink or like a fucking sub. $5? What am I going to buy? A bag of chips? $1? You would be mad if you lost $1. Like a one Washington. You would be mad. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, wow, I lost a dollar. Right? That would upset you that you lost one dollar. I'm poor, Joe. I, dude, I'm not making fun of you. I'm saying, I'm like, what are you going to buy with the one dollar, though? A Feastables bar? No way a Feastables bar is one dollar. That's probably like fucking four bucks. A quarter? Okay, nah, getting, okay, I understand getting mad at losing a dollar. If you got mad after losing a quarter, that's crazy. That's not even a financial situation. Like, if you lost, like, a dime, and you were like, fuck, man, where is it? Fuck. <laughs> Sitting there trying to, <coughs> trying to scrounge up, like, dude, where'd I put it? Where'd I put my penny? Clayton for the five gifted subs. Five gifted of tier two subs. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking tier two subs. Clayton Stewart for the fucking five tier twos. Who for the three? Hi, Joe and Chad Seahawk for the three. Uh, I would hit his ass and put him in a WWE submission till the cops come. Zeeves for the three. Here in Norway, there's a guy who made a bomb and planted it in the capital of Norway. Went to an island, killed 17 teens, and killed 77 people total. His prison cell looks like an apartment. Yeah, that's nuts. Percent possible that this kid will come back with another account if the other one wasn't already permanently deleted. I know Twitch is kind of the butt of the joke when it comes to streaming right now, but what they can be really proud of is that they don't have. Dude, Dan Clancy's like a a chill CEO though, you know. Is, is Dan Clancy my boss technically? Like I'm I'm I he, I'm not really employed by him, but he's technically my boss on a business level. He's a chill dude. Have a growing he, did the, he did the dodgeball tournament with Ludwig. An underage. Your management would be your boss. That would be more of like a business partner. Because my management, I can say no to. Well, I could also just say no to Dan Clancy. But I mean, like, he pays me piece of shit streamer problem that's only going to get worse if streaming really comes down to watching some girl play no. fortnite on her asshole or watching one of these kids try for the life of them to be entertaining then asshole me up baby make sure it's spread the only person that needs to get banned now is that kid mob but i can only pray oh isn't he a youtuber one of you guys sent me his fucking videos the other day and i was like i'm not watching this shit the person that needs to get banned now somebody was spam sending his shit in the video suggestion tab i was like bro i am not fucking watching oh is shit. that kid mob he, like, pulled a fake fire alarm or something. Uh, but I can only pray so much before the devil starts calling my name. See you guys tomorrow. That was a good fucking video. I like this guy. Plantation Soup. Fucking good YouTuber. Looks fairly new, too. I know, he's been grinding for a while. I mean, it's good that he's been getting views now, though. Whoever found this, also W Chatter that's, that recommended this video, because that was a good-ass video. You have any videos you want me to watch? Games you want me to play? Exclamation point! Discord. Video suggestion. Game suggestion tab. Lock in now. Old people try vapes and toxic waste sour sweets. <coughs> this you should give to your friends who you don't. Oh like. my god, Chad! I hit a vape last night. Oh. I hit a vape last night. I almost threw up. My friend vapes, and I was like, he was like, he was like holding it, and he hands it to me, and I was like, fuck, man, I'll try it. And I, I've tried, I've tried like a Nick stick like three times and every time I almost throw up. It's so bad. The, for the people that don't vape, number one, don't vape because that shit's gross. Number two, this is the best and tell me if this is accurate for the people that are fucking vapors because I know half of you guys are fucking vapors. Listen, hitting a Nick stick is inhaling the smell of Icy Hot. That's, that is what hitting a Nick stick is like, is inhaling the smell of Icy Hot, and it's fucking, I don't know why people enjoy it. It's like, I, dude, I, I'll, I'll rip like a dab pen or something like that, which is technically also vaping, but it's just, it's so, it's like, hitting a weed pen is just hot smoke versus water vapor, and it's like cold chemically versus just like 
this is like <laughs> smoke. Like it's like like smoking hitting a dab pen is more near smoking a cigarette than a neck stick is to smoking a cigarette. A neck stick is its own weird like chemical fucking thing. I don't know how to describe it. But like I I smoked a cigarette one time in Mexico with my friend and it was more god this is going to sound crazy it was more enjoyable than hitting a neck stick i enjoyed smoking a marlboro red more than i did hitting a neck stick like it was it dude i don't know it was just fucking way worse it was just way and i would never i haven't smoked a cigarette since i've only smoked i smoked half of one cigarette didn't feel anything either, it, but it was just like the it the feeling was was better than hit, hitting a neck stick. I immediately start coughing and I almost fucking throw up because I'm coughing that bad. Because you can get rid of them quick. <laughs> wow. It totally escapes me while they find that. That's really nice. This That's one. literally the neck stick I hit. Wow. This, I ask myself. Ooh, it's the vapings. 2%? The 2% elf bar? Okay. Well, this is a vape Tom. of some sort. Nicotine. I don't smoke. Shirley. Shirley's 88. She's gonna hit that shit one time and die. I don't think we should make Shirley hit that fucking pen. Don't know what it is. What am I supposed to do with it? Ah, bubble gum. Okay, a little bit small, but... That's fine. Wow, I... she has a magnifying glass. That's actually, that is the biggest old person thing I've ever seen. She has glasses on that are like fucking a half inch thick. And she has a fucking magnifying glass to read it. Okay, a little bit small, but that's fine. I was just going to say this looks like a, a vape. And I'm think... hoping I'm a cool old person. I want to be one of those old hip people, you know? When you're like fucking 65, but you still get trends and you like understand, you know, like what's going on. I don't want to be like one of those. I either want to be that old person or I want to be that old person that's like in a chair and I'm just like, man, fucking kids these days. Bunch of fucking degenerates. Fucking they don't understand anything. They don't want to work. They just want to play on the fucking Apple Vision Pro 15. They just want to fucking sit around and fucking smoke. Those fucking losers. Like, I want to be one of those. One of those old people, too. Like, an angry an angry old guy that just hates everybody. Is, uh, which I don't agree with. <laughs> Joe, you don't even work. Bitch, I'm on the clock right now. Bitch, I'm on... <laughs> Bitch, I'm on the clock right now. Hold up. Hold up. What were we at? Two hours and 11 minutes. There we are. Dude, I, okay. I will say social media is a much better job than other jobs. But listen, I, on, yeah, on stream every day, I'm streaming for four hours. I still do fucking three, four hours of work every day off stream, even on my day off, right? Like, I feel like people don't realize that. Like, it's a, it is a business, right? Like, I have sponsorship calls, meetings. I have to fucking sift through shit, fucking find games. I have to schedule shit. I have to do a lot of stuff. Upload videos, fucking film ads, fucking do that shit. Part-timer? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Motherfuckers call me a part-timer. Bitch, I'm in college, too. After I graduate, though, I'm not going to have an excuse. Then I am just a part-timer. But I'm not part-timer. I stream, like, 22 to 25 hours a week. I would say that I work cumulatively like 35. I don't work a 40. I work 35, but it's also all the time. Like that's the one downside to like social media or not. I mean, there's a lot of downsides, but I'm not going to get into those. But like creepy people and stuff. We're not going to talk about that though. But that's just a vibe killer. Anyways, um, one of the only other downsides is the same thing as like, running a business, right? Like if you do social media, you're your own boss and therefore you're always working. I hate when influence the influencers say they're always working. Oh, oh, I'm always on the clock. It's not like that. But like if I'm at the gym, I'm doing a half hour of work at the gym, right? If I'm fucking chilling, like even if I'm on Discord with my friends, I'm doing other stuff, right? 
Whether it be like like literally every every three days going through the video in the game suggestion tab takes an hour. Like that's just like a small thing, but I'm saying like there is other stuff I do. Somebody redeemed flex. Dr. Pines for the sub. Evgoo for the thousand buddies. Your content makes my day. Keep up the grind. Thank you. Mac and one cheek for the sub. Do you enjoy your job? Yeah. I mean, there is downsides just like there is every other job, but I mean, it's an opportunity that not many people have, so I don't really bitch, right? Like, I don't, I don't complain about social media much. I'll complain about TikTok because I fucking hate that app, but Twitch and YouTube, it's just, you know, like, I mean, there's downsides, but it's still worth it dealing with those downsides for, you know, the benefits, being able to fucking entertain people. It's a fun job. It's really nice, this one. <laughs> wow, she smoked it like a cigarette. That's how you know she's old. Wow. She literally held that with her fucking fingers like she was ripping a fucking cigarette. Ooh, bloody hell. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh, yes, this is all right. Ew, what flavor is that one? Coffee? Aerate it. Warm it up. What does it taste? Was it chocolatey, this one? Was it? Cola. Cola. Well, right. it leaves quite a pleasant taste, actually. Well, I don't smoke, but I can only die once. I don't smoke, but you can only die once. Just fucking actually, this is the rest of the video, just radio silence. <coughs> this you should give to your friends who you don't like, because you can get rid of them quick. Oh, <laughs> what, because they'll die? Wow. Now just give them unfiltered cigarettes. Actually, what's like the quickest way to, what's like the quickest way to, to, to death drug-wise? Fentanyl. That's just ODing, though. If it's like life, if it's like long term side effects, probably like crack or something, whippets. Well, if I was a smoker, that's not bad, but it's a little bit kind of confusing because I thought it was bubble gum because that is what it says. I thought maybe the top comes off and you then get a little swoosh of bubble gum. Yeah, no, take it apart. Take it apart. Taste the cotton. Take Taste the cotton that they have in the middle with the juice on it. I remember my last cigarette, which is probably about 40 years ago. Oh, my God. This is like bringing me back to when I was in high school. And I had a I had one of my friends. He's still my friend. Uh, he used to be like really addicted to nicotine. And one of his vapes broke and he took it apart. Like, he bought it, and it was, like, a fucking $10 disposable. He took it apart and, like, started messing with the wires and stuff and, like, got it to work. And I was like, dude, no shot. You just, you spent $10 on a vape. It didn't work, so you had to fucking MacGyver that shit so you could fucking hit your next deck. Or, like, I've seen, I've seen videos where the charger doesn't work, so they, like, set up the wires to charge their fucking cart. That's what, like, weed, though. Alex and Dr. Pines for the sub. So one of these could engineer in that shit. 50. Just loose wires. They're like licking their fingers. They're going like, like sticking them together. That's scary. You could electrocute yourself. Equivalent of 50 cigarettes in it. Um, how would, what, what long would, would one of those last? Yo, Evgoo, thank you for the 10, or not the 10, for the five gifteds. Appreciate the five gifteds, Evgoo, bruh. Thank them if you get a sub, thank you for the five gifteds. Do you smoke it all in one go or, or what? It has 600 puffs in it, so that can last a heavy smoker one day or a medium to light smoker. One day? Does that say 0%? They sell 0% vapes? What's the point in vaping? If there's not nicotine. Then you're just inhaling, like, smoke. And you're not getting anything. Out. There's no, there's literally no trade. It's just only the downsides. That'd be like smoking weed, but there's there's no THC in it. Oh my god, I did that once. I remember one of my fucking relatives gave me a fucking a a, a joint, and I was like, "What is this?" And they were like, "It's a CBD joint." I was like, "The fuck is that?" And they're like, "It's just it's supposed to calm you down." I was like, "Okay, fuck it." I like that bitch. It was fucking awful. It was just, it was weed, but there were, it was just it was just it didn't get you high. It was just weed. 
I was just like, what the fuck? What the hell is the point of this? Why am I smoking this? Now I'm just inhaling fucking smoke. I'm inhaling carcinogens. For why? I find that quite shocking, actually. That uh, they've carried that much nicotine on them. I mean, surely there's going to be some sort of legislation around it soon. Well, there was zero percent in it. Oh, dear. I would only recommend that to my enemies because I just don't think it's very nice. They've all died. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> she like just keeps laughing rating that is actually cold she's 88 all of the people that she ever hated are dead this product out of 10 five probably nine as a cle clever marketing product and its appeal i can see that being an eight or a nine but for personally for um because of its what it stands for, I put it one or two. I've got. I give it naught out of ten. I would say five out of ten, and that's being generous. This to me is like having a bag of sweets. You just that looks like the most uncomfortable bracelet I've ever seen. Just keep puffing away, keep eating them. So yeah, I'm lowering it four out of ten. Any kind of cigarettes are not attractive. And um, sorry, I don't. She is not old. She looks good for being old. Um, sorry, I don't advocate that at all. So that can just go back. You can have that back. Minus zero. Oh yeah, this is about to kill the old lady. This is really about to kill the old lady. Somebody redeemed Dent. The Mimeo for the three. What's your plans for 420? Probably gonna, you know, roll a joint, pack a joint. I think I have cones. Yeah, I have cones. Probably pack a joint, smoke, listen to reggae music, do some stupid reacts. I'm doing tier lists with JoJo and then maybe some random video games. Punting and O-Block for the sub, Jake for the three. I was born on February 2002 like yourself. I'm starting a business. Wonder if you have any advice for starting a business as a fellow 22-year-old. I mean, look into what type of business you want to start, whether it's like an S-Corp or an LLC or, you know, what type of fucking thing you want to do first. Kind of fucking set it up, you know, see how much it's going to be investment wise, what the return rate's going to be. Most businesses, I mean, it really depends what you're doing. If you have like a standalone business, you're probably not going to make money for the first few years. Uh, but it's also if you're investing or if you're just doing like an online type of business. Outside of that, though, I mean, just getting base connections and going from there. You kind of build it slowly. It's not something that just like immediately launches on itself. Yeah, just do research to whatever you want to do. Sick weight. Big waste. Hazardous sour candy. Toxic doesn't sound good. Waste doesn't sound good. Hazardous sour candy. What's that all about? Ooh, I'm not sure about this one. What is She's she shaking getting it? into these things. Is my oh god, just open it. Hazardously sour. Right. Let's see how hazardously and how sour it was. I feel like they ain't even gonna have tape. Ooh, god, that's making my mouth water. I love toxic waste, bro. I got fucking so much saliva in my mouth right now. Oh, my God. The second she opened that and I heard it, like, touch the plate and he put it in his mouth. Oh, my God. Like, one of those fucking chair. I don't even like... I don't even like the regular flavor. I just like the sour. Dude, my fucking mouth is watering. Holy shit. Like, I could just do the sour and then once the sour goes away, throw that bitch out and give me another one. Holy shit. I'm about to go buy Toxic Ways. She's just unfazed. Oh. It's okay. Lemon, raspberry, blue raspberry, black cherry. Make her do the lemon. Oh, his apple. Well, that's all right then. So can I taste? What's the most sour one? I always say that the the fucking lemons, the lemon and blue raspberry are usually the most sour. Green apple just tastes sour because it's like sour green apple, and then the other one, the red one's not sour ever. Did. Is she chewing it? No. Oh, it's so sour. Can I take this out of my mouth? It's tingly and sour. It sums it up. Why would anyone want to eat this? Because it's enjoyable? Oh, God. Mm. 
<laughs> Yo, this lady is hilarious. Oh my god. I feel like she's a grandma that would like give you like a dead bird for like your fucking birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, they really. Oh my god, you go see your grandma, you haven't seen her in years. And she's like, oh, make sure to go say hi to. Make sure to go say hi to the cat. She taxidermied her dead cat. I hate when people do that. When they taxidermy their dead animals. I would never do that. I don't want to diss anybody here that might have done that, but. Like, when Daisy dies, I'm fucking burying her in the fucking dirt, right? I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna tap. I'm not gonna pull out her insides and stuff her like a doll. You fucking make her eyes all fucking glassy. Oh, God. No, you walk into your grandma's house, you're like, oh, hi, Gam Gam. She's like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, you, you, like, walk past the bird cage. They're all just dead. They're all just dead on the, on the, on the ground. She's like, Grandma, you haven't fed your birds in a while. Oh, what, what birds? What birds? You really are nasty, little. Mm. That really is. You should do a dab tier list like the beer one on 420. Get obscenely high. Tell us your favorite strain. Crown for the sub. Dude, they're just not that different, though. That's the issue. Like, it, with carts, I could do it. But, I mean, that would just be mad expensive. But, I mean, I could do it with, like, carts or something. Like, taste test weed pens. But, dude, fucking, like, fucking 10 rips in, I'd just be gone. Like, it, I'd be gone. And it, they're not going to be that, that varying. Right? They're just going to taste a little bit different. Also, I don't like when I taste... If I rip a cart and it tastes good, that bothers me. That means they put some shit in it. I had one that tasted like fucking like melon. And that bothered me. And I was like, I would rather it taste like skunky weed and fucking poop than like rainbows. Right? Because if I'm, if I'm ripping that shit and it tastes like Skittles... That means they put something in it. That's not the fucking weed strain. They're like, oh, the weed strains are fascinating. No, they put some weird shit in it. That's making me taste, that, that's tasting good. Hazardous they saw on the outside. We're getting two. <laughs> like my favorite, we like my favorite dab pens are the ones you rip. And it's like, it just leaves that gross ass weed taste in your mouth. They're naughty. Let's see if it says. It's sweet. called terpenes, buddy. Yeah, it's called terpenes, buddy. I've seen terpenes. And you're telling me terpenes can make my shit taste like Lucky Charms? Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Right? I've hit a, I've hit a fucking, I've hit a, I've hit a weed pen before and that shit tasted like fucking Cheerios. And I was like, this ain't real. This ain't real. Right? Read inside. No, it doesn't. Why do you think? That's just terpenes? No shot. Like, literally no shot. Can terpenes taste like candy? Terpenes are not sweet. Oh, it says each terpene can have a strong profile from sweet and fruity to earthy and pungent. Yeah, give me that earthy one. Give me that one that tastes like grass and fucking cow manure. Young people might like this product. Because they're idiots. They don't never know what's good for them. And piss but bottles? Stop bringing it up. I already just got the taste out of my mouth. Now you're bringing it up again. It's one of those things which, uh, about many of the things that Gen Z do, um, it totally escapes me why they find that. Gen Z would like it because it's such a groovy little little um, tub. Yeah, so that's why Gen Z you? would love it. We love groovy little tubs. That's where. That's really why I love toxic waste. Giving this out of ten. A what? one. She didn't like it. What did they rate it? Oh god, she liked she liked it. Nine out of ten. Everybody else fucking hated it. All right, well, BDW for the sub. Next vid. This is uh the last video before we get into philosophy reacts. BDW and Mr. Nico for the sub. Danini for the three. I tried the world's weirdest public toilets in Japan. This is yeah, shit in here would be fucking horrifying. 
Just got this dude geeking out, looking at you. It's a public toilet in Japan. Not only is that fierce, incredibly creepy, but once you sit your sweet cheeks down, that fierce begins to yodel. Yodel, 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 yodel. And to make things even worse, I would think somebody was on the other side looking through one of the fucking eye holes. The entire wall begins to close in, inch by inch, until it kisses your knees. But that's not the only weird toilet that exists in Japan. In fact, there are dozens of even crazier public toilets that you can poop in. And I'm gonna find the perfect one. I'm here in Japan. Oh, there's a fire engine. I I'm here. Bro, he he's just eating bean burritos preparing for this while tracking down these fucking toilets. How do you even research that? Just wander around Japan? Oh, this is a cool bathroom. Here, I'm here. To Spell I cup because I see you peeing in these transparent toilets. Look at that. Wonderful. I haven't been able what? to- What? No way there's people that shit. There's no wonder there's nobody in the fucking bathroom. You could just take a shit and people will watch you. Dude, on all ends, people would see you. That's awful. Take a poop. Those are really nice ones. You would shit in this bathroom. Oh, maybe it's a fog mirror. Yeah, maybe it's like it like does that shit where it gets all foggy and trans and it's not transparent anymore. Anywhere but my own home in like ten years. But Alex, dude, I doubt that. Then more about. Oh that. wait, no, it does. It has a privacy. It has a privacy mirror. For now, just know I'm here to poop. All right, quick little turn. We got a sink, a urinal, a toilet. Pretty normal stuff. If you ignore the fact that everyone can see you drop off. Dude, Japan really has their urinals down packed. That probably is no splashback. It's just funneled down perfectly. Whenever I piss in a urinal, dude, I feel like I, I like, especially if I'm wearing shorts sometimes, I'll piss into a urinal that's just like fucking flat and it's like I'm peeing on a wall. I feel the splash back on my knees. If you ignore the fact that everyone can see you drop a hot, steamy, luckily for me, there's a little bit of privacy in this one. Some high tech. TV Doom just said I always miss the urinal. How do you miss the urinal? How do you miss the urinal? He said, okay, man, I've missed the toilet. Like, I've missed the toilet and pissed on the floor before. That happens, I'd say, one out of every five pisses, especially in the middle of the night. The first bit, you know when you're, you know when you're really tired and your, like, eyes are, like, half open because it's really bright and you turn on the lights in the bathroom and you're taking a piss and, like, you're, like, you're used to hearing the, like, it hitting the water, but you hear it hitting the floor and you're, like, ah, oh, fuck, divert path. And then you change and you, and you fix it. Oh shit, I hear it hitting the floor right now. You're like three seconds into the piss. Stuff right here. Look, if I lock this. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I shit in a urinal. Dude, I remember I saw poop in a urinal one time in elementary school. I was befuddled. I was actually, I, I was, I was de definition-wise flabbergasted. I was like, who took a dump in this fucking urinal? I don't even know why this exists. When I came to Japan, I didn't think that I would be pooping quite so public. I'm not actually sure if I will be able to poop in here. Uh, most likely because I have a new fear unlocked, which is that uh, if this technology fails at any moment, the whole of Japan will see my butt cheeks. I got stage fright. It's time to undo the magic. No, I'd be, I'd be able to take a dump. Oh, and I, everyone. As long as that mirror, yo, imagine you don't leave it locked. Holy fuck. I could see, like, an old person. Like, imagine you took your, like, grandpa to Japan, and you were like, all right, grandpa, go take a dump. He goes into the bathroom, doesn't lock the door. He's just taking a fat shit with everybody around him looking at him. And including them. He thinks it's one of those one-way mirrors. <laughs> or one-way glad where, he, where he, he, like, sees. He's like, oh, I can see them, but they can't see me. See? Me. Starts making faces and shit. Two thing. So. <laughs> Take it out of here. Totally unsuccessful. But there's a toilet coming up that I've only heard rumors about. A one million dollar toilet. At this point, I should probably tell you that I consumed 120 bowls of noodles last night. That is not a joke. Long story short, I lost an eating competition to a small Japanese lady. So my intestines are more backed up than MK. 120. I mean, those are tiny bowls, but 120 bowls full to the brim? Are more backed up. It looks like one of those uh, trolley trolley restaurants. Than MKBHD's hard drives. If there's one thing that I know, 
that induces a poop. It's coffee. Let's go get coffee. I don't know where to get coffee. Everything's in Japanese. So I think something may have got lost in translation. I asked for a cappuccino. And I got a, a cappuccino. I got a cat. Guy just went ham. Half of that's just foam. Guy just went ham on the latte art. I was filming it. All that for minimum wage, bruh. Not worth. Not worth. Latte art. I've... Dude literally just did an art piece just for me to fucking out eat that shit. Filming it. It's really sweet. It's time to set my sweet cheeks on another toilet. Okay, this... Definitely not getting paid enough. Actually, maybe, dude. It is a different country. Keep in mind, other countries uh, pay people better sometimes. The U.S. If that was the U.S., you'd be getting paid seven fifty an hour. <laughs> you'd be getting. You'd be getting fucking federal minimum wage, brother. In like Utah. Or some shit. This might look like a giant white ball. And, and that's because it is. This is actually a voice control toilet. I just hope I understand English. This oh, one doesn't know. look that special. Okay. Toilet extracts. Uh, oh. I think there's someone in there. <laughs> oh god. I think there's someone in there. It's very awkward. I just walked in and asked the toilet to extract my food. You ever, you ever walk into a a fucking bathroom when somebody's in it and they didn't lock the door. Terrible vibes. I've talked about this before, but it's the worst, man. Walk in, when you, when you like, oh, you're doing like, it's like a loud restaurant. You like knock on the door, you don't hear anything. You like test it and it's unlocked. You just wide swing that bitch open and some dude taking a dump just staring right back at you and he's like, that's the face they always make. I'm in here. I'm in here. Dickhead, lock the door. Poop. Hopefully they don't speak English. Oh. Okay, I realize that this one's also available. It says, hi toilet. Hi toilet. I'm for technology. This toilet is designed so that you don't have to touch anything. Everything is controlled by your voice. More pressure, less pressure. That sounds terrifying. Hi toilet. I wouldn't want to talk to the toilet. Imagine it misread what you were saying. Flush toilet. Starting bidet. Less less pressure. More pressure. Ow. Ow. Moving, moving bidet forward. That sounds terrifying. Play music. More pressure on bidet. Hi, toilet. Just starts power washing your asshole. Hi, toilet. Have I done something wrong? I think I figured it out. Okay. I had to scan my phone. Oh, it's blue. Play music. Play music. <laughs> this is a different kind of bowel movement that I was thinking of. Oh. Say it again, slowly and clearly. Hi, toilet. Hi, toilet. Hi, toilet. The screen's gone off. No I think signal. I broke it. Imagine it locks you in there. Oh my god, it traps you in there with a bidet just constantly going. More pressure on bidet. System shut down. It's just blasting. Even when you get off the toilet, it's just fucking shooting all over the all over all over the walls and shit. I'm uh Somebody redeemed black. I'm gonna walk away. Um <laughs> It's your boy. I just up. broke a really expensive toilet. <laughs> I just had a flight. It was time to take things up a level. My next plan to help induce a poop was to head to get some traditional cuisine. At 7 Eleven. So I've assembled the ultimate poop inducing meal. We got coffee, obviously a laxative, and then we got a chicken bar. Which I'm least looking forward to, but it does look like a poop, so maybe it goes out the Chicken way. bar? You remember when I tried Japanese snacks, chat, and I fucking tried? They had, like, they had, like, salmon skin jerky, and it was so gross. It just tasted, it literally just tasted, like, not like fish, but, like, what a, what fishy tastes like. Like, fishiness. Like, like a, like a rotting, like a rotting fucking salmon. Is what it tasted like. It Way was it goes in. That probably tastes good though. Um, that's just definitely seasoned. That makes it sound like I'm gonna deep throat this and not. Uh, I'm gonna chew. I'm gonna bite it and chew it. 
Is it I think gross? Oh, maybe not. the next toilet, I guess. And when I arrived at the next toilet, I bumped into a fellow toilet. if you were to eat something so you would fucking take multiple shits in a day, what would it be? A double cheese pizza, ice cream, and then like an ass load of fiber, like beans, just like a shit. Maybe I maybe I just go over to Chipotle and eat like four burritos. Chili, yeah, that would fucking flow right through you. Oh god, like a big bowl of chili. I don't like chili. I don't understand why people like chili. Just like sitting there with a warm bowl of like whipped up meat. Like, I can't imagine just going to a restaurant and being like, yeah, I'll have the chili. Just a nice fucking medium-sized bowl. Like, you're going to eat it like cereal. Laxatives? Toilet tourist. No, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Richard. That's not his real name. But as you're about to see, I'm way too socially awkward to even ask someone their name. Uh, so, he's Richard. This is the seventh of today. I'm going to uh, the red one uh, soon. Yeah, I was there earlier today, yeah. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it exists. Wait, this guy's literally touring toilets. Toilet tour. Okay, so apparently, I'm not the only one doing the toilet tour, which makes me feel so much better because every single one of these so far <laughs> is ripe. That's a fucking thing. Beside a kid's park, as you can probably hear. I'm trying not to film the kids because uh, I don't want to be put on a list in Japan. Not that I'm on a list anywhere else. Uh, this next toilet is inspired by nature. Now, it might not look like much uh, on the outside, but as my mom always said, it's what's on the inside that matters. And now that I think of it, I think she was calling me ugly. Hopefully one is available. This one is for women with large butts. Now, that looks like pregnant women. That looks like it would be uh, somebody... Eh, is that the, the back side? No, that would be like the front side. Large pregnant women. But oh. <laughs> we got the theme going. Lots of wood. Is it just me or no matter where you go, you kinda lay like toilet paper around the edge of the seat? Just you never. know. Never never done that, never will do that. Wasting my time. I'm bare button that bitch. I'm bare button that bitch. It could be unless it's a unless it's a porta potty. That's the only time I will fucking lay toilet paper down on that bitch, bro. Everywhere else, I'm fucking sitting down. And you know, and a lot of people could say this is fucking disgusting. When I go to a toilet, when, when I go to into a bathroom and I sit on a toilet and it's warm, I, in my head, thank the person before me that warmed up the seat for me. I'm not fucking putting toilet paper. It's just a waste of my time. I'm going to fucking put one, one, one ply toilet paper down. What is that doing? Stopping the bacteria? It's not. I'm just going to fuck. Chat, it's your ass, bro. It's your ass, bro. Oh my God, bacteria. Ew, ew. Am I- am I fucking touching my butt and wiping my eyes? No. What the fuck? It's your butt, dude. Shit's coming out of your ass, and you're sitting here saying, Oh, that's gross, sitting on a toilet seat that somebody else sat on. It's piss? If it's fucking covered in piss, I'm gonna wipe the piss off. Buddy, keep in mind, I accidentally drank my own piss. Today. Okay? And you're sitting here flabbergasted that I bare butt a toilet. Thin layer of paper is enough to like, you know, ward off evil spirits and some kind of STDs. I... Oh my god, I'm not telling the story again, dude. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta join the stream earlier, bro. Somebody else fill him in. On my way to the next public dumping grind, I caught something out of the corner of my eye. Something I could not turn down. again. Yeah, for the third time. <laughs> Might be actually the fourth time. There was a time I didn't tell you guys about. When I was sick one day, this was like years ago, so it, you know it was a while back. But there was a time, there was a time that I was sick. B both two times were gaming. That one time was today. There was a time I was really sick, and I didn't want to go to the bathroom, so I pissed in a bottle and I put it, like I just like put it back right, and I went back to sleep. And then I woke up thirsty, and I was the same thing, same scenario. You know, every time you just act, you reach for the bottle, you think it's water, you drink it, it's not water. Blah, blah, blah. You got to go get mouthwash. When you're videoing a video about poop, and you see poop- Am I really the only person that's ever- Who here has accidentally drank their own piss? Be real. Like, I- I can't be the only one. Me? Okay, I feel like some of you guys are saying me just to make me feel better, but I appreciate that. Right? I appreciate that. Even if you're lying. 
one time accidentally. Yeah, why would I purposefully drink my own piss? Ice cream. You can't refuse. It comes in a toilet. Let's hope it isn't actual poop. That would be a disaster. It turns out Japan actually built a bunch of these toilets as part of the Tokyo Toilet Project, which is insane to me, considering that you'd be lucky to even have a toilet seat in a public toilet where I'm from. But what's even more insane is where I'm going next. And I really fancy hotel. I definitely shouldn't be inside this hotel. Thankfully, the people of Japan are way too nice to kick me out. This place is so fancy, it has an artificial beach. I pass through the murals, through the indoor river, past the seven levels of the candy cane forest, and made it to the one million dollar toilet. Okay. One million to dollar Ryan toilet? Because I'm in it's a surely one gonna be gold. million dollar toilet. Sounds like a Mr. Beast video. I do not have enough money to stay in this hotel, but I'm here. Anyway, the entryway to this toilet had a bridge. That's how fancy we're talking here, people. A literal bridge. It's almost as if it's like a metaphor for me overcoming my fear of pooping in public. It was time to see what $1 million gets you. Dude, I used to have a massive fear of shitting in public, and now it's just... If I got to take a dump, I'm taking a dump. No, unfazed. I could shit. I could shit in the nastiest fucking dive bar bathroom. The only time I won't shit in public is you ever, you ever go to a bathroom that stalls, but the stalls are really short and you can like borderline look over them. I will not shit in a stall like that. If they're tall stalls, I'll take a dump. But there was a few bathrooms I've gone to mainly in foreign countries where like the stall is dead ass like five feet five feet tall like if they just walk past you they'd see you taking a shit that's a million dollar toilet just, just a normal toilet wish me luck uh, apparently they spent all of the money on the golden ceiling and the bridge so yeah if this video taught me anything it's with enough time and enough effort you can live your Dreams. Bruce trying to fucking find meaning out of the toilet video. Cammy for the sub, uh, C for the three. My family's weird when my brother who's seven needs to pee. We're in the car, he pees in a bottle, and if we had one, my mom once drank it. Oof. By accident, I'm assuming. I mean, I've pissed in a bottle on long car rides before. I feel like that's fairly normal. Unknown and care for the sub. Lava and it's your boy for the sub. All right. Chat, I gotta piss real quick. Count me down. 30 seconds. All right, Chad. It's time for it's time for philosophy. Okay, it's time it's time for some fucking interesting videos, right? We got some good videos on this lineup. What is consciousness? Optimistic, optimistic nihilism. What is love? And give me an answer, Chat. I know not everybody loves this. I'm not going to be surprised if a lot of people leave stream. However, 
I would say give it a try, right? It's my major in college, philosophy and religion. Uh, it's very interesting, just talking about fucking in-depth topics, world-type shit, universal-type shit, right? The one PSA I want to give is we're all going to share our opinions, right? But keep in mind, a lot of it is fucking subjective. At the end of the day, what you believe is as valid as what I believe and vice versa, right? About afterlife, fucking morals, whatever, right? So if we get on an in-depth conversation, I know the titles of the videos is what we're going to be watching. But if you've never been to one of my philosophy streams before, we just end up going off topic 99% of the time. I mean, like, we might get through, like, three of these at most. But realistically, it's just going to end up with me fucking rambling to you guys and shit like that. Culture for the sub. Uh, but yeah. I tried to set it up so we could start out with something that kind of eases it in, but it's still interesting. And a very old Vsauce video, but something uh, that's very good, uh, or interesting, rather. What is consciousness? Optimi optimistic nihilism. Uh, Kurt's Gazat video, which is fun, and it's only six minutes. Then we have what is love. We might skip that one. Give me an answer. Can life really come from intimate or inanimate non-life matter? Okay. This is going to be a long stream. Yeah, it's probably going to be a four-hour, if I had to guess. I don't know for sure, but, I mean, we'll see. Lock in here, chat. Michael here and a oh my god I, I missed the intro hey visa yeah you're an observer at the end of the day sometimes it feels like you're a little dude in your brain that's just watching what's going on right you're not actually like just sit there and stare and like I'm I'm trapped in the me is trapped in this body like I exist only in my brain but I also have control it's like I'm plankton you know that um that one that one episode of SpongeBob where Plankton's in the brain and he's going like this and he's like fucking moving he's moving SpongeBob that's you right you're Plankton in your own brain Earth will ever see the world from that position this awareness of bro your this is not a cartoon dickhead I know I'm making an analogy so you understand it beehive your own experiences the awareness that you are having them. Yo, you're a terrible chatter. I'm timing you out for like eight hours. Holy shit. I just looked at their chats. Fucking every one of them is just annoying. The awareness that you are having your own thoughts makes up what we call consciousness. But if I were... Not everyone, but most of them. But he said that's the fakest chain I've ever seen. And then he was fucking said, what are you waffling about? Shut up. Okay, for the three. Isn't much money. Love the streams and videos from Denmark. Jack for the three. Uh, tuning in from Highway on a two-hour car ride. Love the streams. Thank you. And Hokies for the 356. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't see that the first time. Zadam for the for the five. Have you seen the Fallout TV show? I have not. Culture and Cammy for the sub. I always think um, you could. I mean, this is this is. It, it's obviously not true, but it is just like a thought experiment. Every time you go to bed, you die, and there's a different version of you that wakes up with your memories. And you can't disprove that. You can't disprove that what you experienced before you fell asleep was you. Like, you theoretically could just be someone that, that just absorbed all of the experiences of the person before you, but you're not them, right? Like, they died. Misunderstanding it is to begin with things... Yes, you can. How? You are not conscious. For instance... Clever. There's no way it's it's obviously not real, but it's like it's like one of those things where it's like you can't disprove it. It's the same thing as saying, prove to me you're prove to me you're conscious. You can't. You can't get any other human to prove to you that they think. <laughs> like it's outside even if you like run brainwave tests on them, you can't get them to prove to you that you're that they're conscious. Like if you if somebody walks up to me and they're like, prove that you're a fucking conscious human being that thinks. I don't know, beat bop, fucking happy, happy dance. What the fuck am I, what the hell are you supposed to say? You just start spewing random words and shit. It's not, nothing's going to prove to them that you're a thinking thing. I think that all the time about some people I see in public. Like I'm a, I wouldn't say I'm a people watcher, but I really think that some people, like I, I, people throw around, you're an NPC, right? The term NPC all the time. But, like, I genuinely believe there are people that exist that are NPCs. Like, they, they are humans, right? And they work, and they fucking pay taxes, and they do all this. But they don't think. Like, they like, they're, I, I don't know. It's just, like, you can, you'll, it, like, go out. Next time you're out in public, just look around, and you could probably spot, like, two or three people. 
out of like 150 people that you see in a given day that you're like, that person's a fucking NPC. Like they don't think like they have opinions and they'll like, they'll t but they're like very indifferent. And it's just, it's just like, you can tell that they're not, nothing's going on up there. Some people, not even just the inner, inner monologue thing. Like some people don't have an inner monologue. It's very few, but some people don't think in their own head, which is shocking. I don't even understand the concept of that idea, but it's a, it's a proven thing. Like some people can't think in their own head, not in the sense of like, oh, they can't have opinions or study or something, but they don't, they don't have a, an inner dialogue with themselves. Like Moon Papa just said, I don't, but how do you think? Like you just had the, you had the, the capability to respond to me and say, I don't, right? But you can't sit there, say, you can't sit there and say, how am I doing today in my own, in your own head, right? Like, obviously when I'm talking, I'm not thinking in my own head because I'm not going to be having a conversation out loud and a conversation in my head at the same time. I mean, I can imagine things in my own head while I'm also talking, but when I go silent, I finish that sentence. I said, I can still think in my own head, right? But you can't, like, I don't understand how does that work? It's just pictures, so more imagery. But then how do you study or read or like or on a long car ride? I'll sit in silence on long car rides, as weird as that may seem. I love that time. The hour ride where I can drive my car and sit in silence and just think. And I literally just talk to myself. I'm literally having a cover. And that really trips me out. Because if I'm having a con if I'm having a conversation for with myself, which one's me, or are both me, right? It's like it's a it's a weird it's a weird thing to think about. If you're sitting there and you're talking to yourself, there has to be a receiver and an emitter, right? But you're both. You're you're actively taught. You're actively receiving information from yourself and talking to yourself. Somebody said lost 500 viewers with a with a fucking dead face. Buddy, it's a philosophy stream. I know I, the viewers are going to tank. I don't give a shit. Now I'm going to time you out. Leave the stream. I lost another one. There we go. Fuck. You can't talk to yourself? Yeah, you can. I just did. <laughs> you didn't hear you didn't hear it <laughs> because it's in my fucking head. But I literally said, "What am I going to eat after stream?" in my own head. I just said chicken wings. <laughs> Like, I can't prove it to you, but, like, I'm doing it. Not be him. It would not be him. It would be a copy. It, but that's what's weird, though, is it would, it would, it would, uh, if you copied my conscious and you just cloned me, it would be me. But it, I, it going back to what I was saying, it's not me, right? Like, if you had a copy of you, whatever... For the people in chat, if you had an exact clone of you, I'm not talking about twins or some shit. I'm saying like a literal clone, same consciousness, same everything. The second it's cloned, it's no longer you, right? Because it's its own thinking thing. And if it's its own thinking thing separate from you, then it can't be you, no matter how ge genetically identical it is. That's fucking freaky. Also, off topic question here that I was arguing, um, I was arguing with my friends about. If you are an identical twin and you and your identical twin have sex and a child with the same woman, uh, are those people full brothers or siblings? If you, I'm going to repeat that. If you and your identical twin have a kid, this is entirely off topic. If you, you already asked this, I, I, you asked this already yet and we didn't know the fucking, we didn't know the fucking answer. We didn't have an answer here. Nobody gave me a genuine answer. You and your identical twin have a child with the same woman. They're both cousins and full brothers. Not half. They, you would think they're both cousins, half brothers, and full brothers. At the same time. Because they're cousins, because it's their sibling, their 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 dad is related to. Wait, yeah, it, like if, if okay, so two two identical twins have a kid with one woman, right? Those kids are gonna be cousins because it's they're gonna have an aunt and uncle or uh, both uncles, right? 
half brothers because they the same the same woman, and full brothers because they're identical twins. Yabo for the thousand eddies. Forgot to ask, do you wipe or let it crust? Uh, I wipe my ass. Uh, Brody for the three. I haven't uh, been live in a minute, uh, but I missed it. I hope you're doing great. Thank you. And here's an even better one. Imagine they would not be brothers. No, they would be brothers. They would be brothers. They would be definitely half brothers. They would at least be half. They would be cousins and at least half brothers. Yeah, they would be cousins and at least half brothers. But I think they would be full brothers because the twins are identical. If you did it with two random people, they would be they would, like or non-identical twins. Say you and your brother both had a kid with one woman. Now they're both cousins and half brothers. But if they're an identical twin, they're full brothers. Imagine that a surgeon came in. Not full brothers. Why? Not full brothers. It's not the same person, even though they're twins. But they're identical twins. I'm saying genetically. I'm not saying legally. Legally, yeah, they're not full brothers. But genetically, they're full brothers. The blood is the same is percentage-wise as siblings. Full siblings. And he started removing cells from me and from you. Replacing them exactly one at a time. Replacing... Well, that's the fucking boat thing. If you have a boat and you slowly replace every part of the boat, when is it considered a new boat? Never, in my opinion. Because it's the idea, but that's different from a human. Is it? Fuck. I mean, if you... If, yeah, the ship of, of, of Theseus. The, the issue with that is it's just the idea of the boat. Like, say the boat is SS Fart, right? SS Bart Fart. Let's give that as a fucking name for the boat. And I keep replacing the parts of the boat. It's still the SS Bart Fart. Like, physically, it has changed. But mentally, it is the same boat that it has always been. Look up the Slayer twins on Google Images. They're twins who have gotten another set of twins and had children who are twins. Oh, you're kidding me. That's creepy, dude. You ever think you ever think they they wish they were with the other twin? You ever think about that? Like, you ever think uh, either of the women or either of the guys were like, damn, mate, what if I got with the other dude, you know? Or what if I got with the other girl? In my cells. In swingers? Yeah, if they were swing. Shout out. All right. Next video. Optimistic nihilism. Kurt Skazat. Human existence is scary and confusing. A few hundred thousand years ago, we became conscious and found ourselves in a strange place. It was filled- It is freaky that human history is, like, not recorded for the lengthy part of us, right? Like, anatomically correct humans, like Homo sapiens, identical to us, have existed for hundreds of thousands of years. But how long is recorded history? I looked back into this so much when I was uh, doing my paper on morality because it's so rooted in language. And the first, like, civilization was, like, 15,000 years ago. Which is, like, a long-ass time ago, but relative to the universe, that's crazy that we have the technology we have now when the first, first society, historically... Yeah, they say Mesopotamia, but there's stuff even before the Mesopotamia or the Sumerians. Like, oh god, I don't even remember. I, th I don't think it was in Greece. Oldest city to exist. In Syria, there's a city that is 11,000 years old. And this is what the remains of the city look like. Like, that's crazy. Only 1.6% of human history is recorded. Yeah, that's scary. I I always like uh like the fucking theories about the uh the Amazon. 
how uh, there's, like, evidence that there was, like, functioning, like, very kind of technologically advanced societies for their time, and then they all got wiped out from, like, a disease or something. Like, that's creepy. I always think about, too, the, the fact that everyone before me, <laughs> this this just seems stupid, but because it's, like, so obvious, but from the start of living things, all of your ancestors have successfully lived long enough to have a child. And decided to have a child. Even before they were human, right? Like, non, like, like the things before people, right? Like your common ancestor that wasn't even a, a human. Everything for billions of years. Like, even when the dinosaurs were around, there was, when the dinosaurs lived, there was a mammal that was alive that is your ancestor. That is your great, 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 great grandfather, right? All the way down the line. And then if that thing fucking died one day, you wouldn't exist. Like, that just puts it into the fucking comparison of, like, how unlikely it is that you're here. Yeah, dude, shout out to my non-human ancestors. For real, though. Shout out to the mammal that lived in a hole and got that shit going, dude. And he fucking, he was fucking going to town, man. I wouldn't exist. That he didn't get eaten by a fucking T-Rex. And that's why, like, I don't want to say, I don't diss people when they don't want to have children. I understand entirely when people say they don't want to have kids. But it's like, I feel like it's my, I don't know, man. I feel like it's my obligation as a human to have a kid. Just because I only exist because everything before me had a kid. Like, it's like my duty. Like, if I stop now, I just ended a lineage that was a billion years in the making. I mean, obviously your blood, if you have siblings or cousins, or like there's still a fraction of you that would exist. But like you, you just cut that lineage. Right? Not even just like some people are like, I don't want to end the last name. Bitch, who gives a fuck about the stupid ass fucking last name that you have? I'm talking about before you had the last name. Before motherfuckers even knew how to speak, there were things that were getting it on so you could exist. I wish I could go back and speak to like my ancestor from like 5,000 years ago. I would, I, I, chat, I would give, so, I would give so much to do that. To go back in time. Not, I'm not even talking the 1800s or some shit. Fuck that. I'm talking like BC. Like fucking 6,000 BC. Like the early civilization. Like when the ancient Egyptians were around. Like I wish I could go back to like then. I mean, obviously I don't, I probably don't have ancestors that were in fucking Egypt. But. Like, whatever fucking society my ancestor lived in. What would you say? I would just want to... I would want to talk to them. I don't even know what I would say. That would be amazing, though. Just to see not only what their life was like, but just, just to be like, dude, thanks, right? Like, I would love to just thank them, you know? It's weird. Like, I feel... I And, and I it, it makes me sad that we can't remember... Like, do you guys know your great-great-great-grandfather's last name? Or not your last name. That's like your last name. Your great-great-great-grandfather's first name. No. I don't know what they look like. I don't know what they were like. And it's weird. I remember I was with my grandma, like, a couple of years back. And she showed me a photo of her grandfather. And I've said this before. He had a top hat, a handlebar mustache, and a cane. And it was that black and white image where they had to, like, stand still for, like, 20 minutes to take the photo. And I was like, I can't even relate to that guy. But if that guy didn't have kids, I wouldn't exist. Like, that guy is my great-great-great-great-grandfather, right? Like, that's fucking insane. Fitted the fuck up? Dude, even past that, I'm saying, like, dude, the the first fucking... If you, if, you've, if you don't have, like, newly immigrated parents, right? Like, I mean, I have some great-grandparents and grandparents that are from, like, Italy and Germany and shit like that. But I'm saying, like... I have some ancestors that came here in the 1600s. Like, they got on a boat, and they were like, I'm going to go to this new world and spend months on a boat to try and fucking make a life for myself. And now that's, and now that ended up with you being born wherever the fuck you're born. Like, the whole... Life is so complex 
but it's so simplified on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like, I, dude, I like sitting back and just thinking like, holy shit, not only do I exist, but just the sheer probability that I, not only I exist, but I would end up exactly in the situation that I'm in today is like fucking creepy. Like how, how many other ways that it could go or that you couldn't exist. It's like, oh my fuck. Not only did everything, not only did every other ancestor of yours have to have a child for you to exist, but they had to conceive that child at that exact day for you to exist because of the specific sperm and egg cells. Like if you, if your ancestor from 5,000 years ago had a kid a month later, you wouldn't exist because that would change their kid. And then that would change their kid's kid. And all the way down the line, it wouldn't be you. Like, even when you, just just as simplistically as, like, when you decide to have a kid one day, the day you decide to conceive changes who, who will come to existence. The day, the minute that you decide, I'm gonna, let's do this, right? That changes if you exist or not, or your, what kid exists or not. Like, you literally won the lottery by being, you, you more than won the lottery by being alive. Just... Just by existing. Like, we are the luckiest bunch out there. Wow. Yabo for the three. Uh, pretty sure that guy is on a pedo list for my area code. What guy? One of the twins? Fluffy is for the three. One of the Salyer twins? But with other beings. We can... Number one swimmer? Not technically. You're not necessarily the number one swimmer. You're the one that lived, right? Sometimes, I, I don't know if it's men or women, but I know female sperm and male sperm. There's like ones that are longer or shorter, and some are quick but die fast, and some just outlast the others. You survived long enough and made it first. Eat some, some could eat us. Because you could get there before, right? There's some, it, depending on conception, there's some sperm that reach the egg before it's ready. And then they die. There was liquid stuff we could drink. Things we could use to make more things. Like, I'm a fucking sperm cell. Like, that freaks me out. That freaks me out. I, we're never gonna finish this video, bro. That freaks me out. Does that not freak you guys out? Like, I was nothing. I was nothing. Not only did I not exist, I was like a fucking... Then when I did exist, I was a fucking single-celled organism. Well, that wasn't me, but it's like, and even then, it's like, what, it, when do you become you is a great question as well. Like, a two-year-old isn't fucking conscious, in my opinion. I mean, they are conscious to the effect that they know how to, like, walk and talk, but they don't remember shit. It's like, I don't remember anything before I was four or five, and even after that, like, I have very faint memories from when I was, like, six, seven, eight, like, even, like, nine, dude. I mean, not at that point, then you have, like, pretty solid memories. But, like, when you're, like, five, you don't remember shit. I remember being two. Dude, I, that's probably Cap. I remember when you talked about consciousness, I actually brought it up. How do you determine that you would have this same consciousness? I don't know what you're asking me. Uh, Yabo. Thank you for the biddies. Wait, I already read that. And your boy for the sub. The brain vid guy. Vsauce? Vsauce is not on a sex offender list, dude. Can you play a game? This shit's boring. No, but I'll time you out for the rest of the day. Leave. I'm a variety streamer. I enjoy doing this. I don't do it often. Get the fuck out of here. Braves for the five gifteds. I'm sitting here having the fucking funnest, fun ass time talking about life and shit. Can you play video? Can you play fucking? Can you play Roblox? This I'm bored. No. Any other day, whatever, right? But I go into philosophy streams knowing that they're not as entertaining as other shit that I do. For some people, right? But that's the fucking luck of the draw. That's why I do variety, right? Some things you're gonna like more than others. Like yesterday, I played Storage Hustler, and some people loved it. Some people fucking hated it. 
Come tomorrow. I'm doing all of Man of Madon. Tuesday, I'm not live. Uh, Tuesday, I might be live. I don't know yet. Wednesday is, I'll let you guys know tomorrow for sure. Wednesday is fucking scary games. Thursday, I'm either not live or live, depending on whether or not I'm live Tuesday. We're either going to do Rainbow or fucking Fortnite and Roblox games and fucking Sword Hustler then. Friday's reacts, or not Friday's, Friday's Launchables uh, video. Saturday is 420 Sunday's reacts. Thanks. The daytime sky had a tiny yellow ball that warmed our skin. The night sky was filled with beautiful lights. This place was obviously made for us. Something was watching over us. We were home. This made everything much less scary and confusing. But the older we got, the more we learned about the world and ourselves. We learned that the twinkling lights are not shining beautifully for us, they just are. We learned that we're not at the center of what we now call the universe, and that it is much, much older than we thought. We learned that we're made of many little dead things, which make up bigger things that are not dead for some reason, and that we're just another temporary stage in a history going back over a billion years. We learned, in all, that we live on a moist speck of dust moving around a medium-sized star in a quiet region of one arm of an average galaxy, which is part of a galaxy group that we will never leave. And this group is only one of thousands that together make up a galaxy supercluster. But even our supercluster is only one in thousands that make up what we call the observable universe. The universe might be a million times bigger, but we will never know. We could throw words around like 200 billion galaxies or trillions of stars or bazillions of planets, but all of these numbers mean nothing. Our brains can't comprehend these concepts. The universe is too big. There is too much of it. But size is not the most troubling concept we have to deal with. It's time, or more precisely, the time we have. If you're lucky enough to live to 100, you have 5,200 weeks at your disposal. If you're 25 now, then you have 3,900 weeks left. If you're going to die at 70, then there are 2,340 weeks left. A lot of time, but also not really. And then what? Your biological processes will break down and the dynamic pattern that is you will stop being dynamic. It will dissolve until there is no you left. Some believe that there is a part of us we can't see or measure, but we have no way to find out. So this life might be it and we might end up dead. Don't know, man. I like the idea of the fucking oh, the part of us that we can't see or measure. I just feel like it's fucking cap. I literally just think I'm fucking a bunch of brain cells that are just wired electrically, just fucking pinging around and shit. Like I'm literally a brain. I'm a brain in a body. That's me, Joe Bart. Fucking brain in a body, like every other human. God, man, if that's depressing. I mean, not really. It's, suppre it, it's depressing if you think it's depressing. It, 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 it's just we're, we're grown up in this idea that we, like, are, we matter so much. And we do. And, you know, like, the things that we do matter. But, like, we're not the center. I feel like a lot of people grow up no thinking and in, in feeling that humans are, are the highest thing, right? And we matter the most. And religions put us at, 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 at like, the highest, right? Uh, outside of, I mean, like God and fucking other maybe deities or depending on what religion you believe in. But, I mean, I just think we're fucking, I, we're, we're the same as fucking dirt, man. Like, we're the same as other animals. Uh, which makes me feel like, I'm, I, I, I don't know. Like, I used to be against that vegan teacher a lot, and I still think she's fucking horrible at, at you know, being a fucking advocate for people becoming vegan. But I do feel bad about eating animals sometimes. And I've gone fishing. I've killed animals. Like, it's not, it, it, it's not, like, something that I'm, like, crying about. But it's, like, damn, man. Like, at the end of the day, like, I'm literally just a higher intelligent form of something else. Right? I don't know. I don't think our consciousness rests somewhere else. I think a lot of people feel that your consciousness and your soul are, are detached from your humanity. And I just can't see that. I, I just really think it's just... I exist, it's weird that I exist, and then it's one day it's going to be lights out, and then it's just fucking, it's like I didn't even exist, which is really freaky, right? Like, right now you're here, and you know you're here, 
and like a lot of people are be like, oh, that would suck, right? Like whenever I mention the fact that I'm like, hey, I probably think that when I die, there's nothing. A lot of people are like, oh, that sucks. You wouldn't know it sucks though. You're dead, you know? Like you're not gonna, it's not like you die and then like 10 seconds after you die, you have like this fucking out of body experience and you're like, oh shit, I'm dead and there's nothing. And then it's, and then it's over, right? I think the last few minutes of your life are really fucking trippy. When you die, your brain's usually active for like 10 minutes after you die. And that's usually when your your brain's in hyperactivity and you kind of relive your whole life. That's why they always say like life flashing before your eyes or something like that. It, I mean, they can't really prove it because it's like nobody's ever come back from being like dead, dead. But like when you're in that near death experience realm, like that last 10 minutes of your life, like on the brink of life and death, you kind of like relive everything. It like flashes before your eyes and then it's life. Then it's lights, lights out, right? Like a flashback almost. I'm assuming that's how it'll be unless you get like fucking shot or crushed or run into a car or some shit. But I'm saying if you're on your deathbed and it's like Meh, like that, that's when you're going to relive your life. Um, It's supposed to give some sort of closure. I don't know. But it really trips me out. But a lot of people are like, fuck, dude. Like, I, I fear death. I would say I'm not, like, sitting here, like, wondering, like, hey, oh, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all that I'm going to die one day. It does. But, I mean, I I can't I can't sit here and be like, oh, yeah, that's going to suck when I'm dead. I'm dead. You know? It's not going to suck. But it will feel like I never existed in the first place. You know? Which is freaky. But it's not going to feel like anything because I'll be dead. But it'll be as if I never existed. Like, I exist right now, and you guys are watching me, and you guys exist as well. A hundred years from now, we're all dead. Like, 100%. Like, none of us are going to live, are going to be alive a hundred years from now, realistically. Maybe your kids, right? But you won't. And, and then it's like, then 200 years from now, 300 years from now, it's like you never existed. Like, your ancestors, that's why I always said in the other video, I wish I could go back and thank my ancestors, right? Because I don't know them, and it's like they never existed. I'm evidence that they did, right, because I'm here, and I'm only here because of them. But I don't know. Nah, I'd still be here. Doubt it. I doubt your uh, quantum immortality. You're probably, you're probably not the one out of the infinite probabilities that is immortal. Dead forever. This is less scary. Damar Hamlin died for a few minutes. Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, being, there's different, there's a difference between being clinically dead and brain dead, or not clinically dead, dead and brain dead, right? You can have your heart stop and you could be dead, but when your brain dies, you're fucking dead. You will never come back from that shit. I hate when people try to say people do. No one in the history of humanity has ever come back from being brain dead. What is brain dead? When your brain shuts off. When your brain stops working, your brain stem's gone, everything's fucking dead. You're dead, right? They can pump your body. That's why, like, there's people that are brain dead in hospitals, and their body's on machines, and their family members are, like, keeping them alive machine-wise. You're just putting life into a fucking jackbox, man. Like, it's not... I, that's a bad analogy, but it's like, putting it bluntly, they will never come back. Ever. And like when once you are brain dead, you're dead, right? If your body's dead, but your brain's alive, that's different. They can keep you alive on machines and you're still cognitively there. But once your brainstem shuts off and everything's gone, it will never come back ever. Food and dog for the sub swell for the three. Can you look at my recent chats? The two long paragraphs for the first one. What? B for the three. If we are a clump of cells, uh, then what do you think about morality? Because if so, morality is just perspective, not a concrete right or wrong. I think morality is uh, a, is a necessary... I'll, I'll read your chat in a second after I answer this, uh, Swell. Not Pico and Fried for the sub, uh, and sw uh, Swiggly for the three. You said all events that have happened led to your existence today, but how can you say for sure that all events in the past led to you? How could there be so many consciousnesses in the world and you end up being you? Well, the reason I say that it, it ends up being you and that it's just terribly unlikely is just the statistical probability that you're the human that you are is very unlikely. Right, like the, the genetic makeup. And not, not necessarily the consciousness, but the genetic makeup, right? And at that point, if I change, like, what is you? Yeah, I, I know what you're trying, like, I don't know if you're trying to say this, but, like, yeah, say, say when I was born, 
I wasn't me, I looked different, and I was genetically different. Would that consciousness still be me? No, it would be a different person, right? And that's why I say your consciousness is always changing. The you you were 10 years ago is dead, right? That's not a thing. Consciousness isn't ever forming. Your physical body always maintains the same, but your fi your consciousness is ever forming, right? Like you, you, who you were two, three, four, five years ago is not the you you are now. I mean, a day-to-day -day basis, you're very similar, but like people can change so much that it's like they're not even, they don't even feel like the same person. I always say I don't relate to the person I was five, six years ago, right, three, four years ago. But I mean, like if you ask your parents too, a lot of them will say the same thing. Um, maybe not all of them, but I mean, I, I would I would beg to say that People that are 80 and say they can relate to their 20-year-old self, I don't want to diss them, but are less intelligent than somebody that has said they've changed drastically, right? Life is full of ups and downs. Your consciousness is going to change drastically. And so if you're 80 years old and you can perfectly relate to your 20-year-old self, that's bad, in my opinion. That means you haven't changed. Nothing, there's no growth. No growth has occurred you have not you have not changed as a being in any way whatsoever. You are biologically and consciousness wise the same person. I think they're separate. But which one is you? I don't know. It's the fucking person in your head. That 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 gets so confusing to the point that I can't even put it to words. Brace for the sub. Your boy for the sub. Swiggly for the three. Um Beefcorn for the three. Oh, morality. Morality is a necessary illusion. I think it's needed for a society to exist, and I think morality is needed. But on a universal perspective, there's nothing wrong with doing anything at that point. If you're if you're saying it on on a universal whole, right and wrong don't exist, right? Right and wrong are human made perspectives through society because they were needed for a society to function, right? Rule sets so we could succeed, right? Base morality started in Aristotle's mind through friendship. Right, that was the first morality that existed. You were my hunting friend, right? And me and you would kill buffalo together. And we would share some of the meat. And I wouldn't kill you because I need you, right? But another guy that kills my buffalo and takes my food, I'll fucking shove a rock in his head, right? He's not helping me. And he's taking my shit, right? So I'll kill him. That was the morality that started. Then you had societies and language, and it became utility. Past utility, that was the name of the fucking first you friendship, was utility friendship. And that's a majority of the friends that you have, right? There's Aristotle says there's like three different types of friends, and the most common one that you're going to have is utility friend. Your acquaintances in high school are your utility friends. The people you study with and are in class with but don't hang outside of school with are utility friends, acquaintances. You use them and they use you. You benefit mutually from one another and that's your relationship. Then there's deeper friends, people that you actually get to know, right? Like, do you guys have any friends that know you on a personal level? Like, your consciousness. That's a real friend. A friend that knows your struggles and they've known your life and they've known your faults and they've known what you've done wrong and what you've done right and they're still your friend, right? Right? Like, that's a friend, right? That's what I would describe as a friend. Not somebody that you just hang out with or fucking you're, like, just, like, cool friends with each other. Like, they know you and you know them, right? And they're hard to come by. You might have two, three in your life, right? And they might be family members, right? Um, But, like, they're not... Like, I, I have a bunch of friends, but I think I have maybe two or three friends that really know me. One of them's Brooke, right? I think Brooke knows me, right? Like, she knows my consciousness. Two of my other friends do as well. The other people, yeah, they might know me, but if I was like, hey, and I asked them a question about my life, they wouldn't be able to fucking explain it, or they wouldn't get me on that level, you know? Uh, but back to morality, I think morality's needed, I, I like it, it is something that is required, but on a universal scale, morality is something that we made up, right? Good and bad. This is what I wrote about when I, when somebody like a few days ago asked me what the best paper I ever wrote was. I said, uh, one that I wrote with Friedrich Nietzsche on, uh, his viewpoint of morality, comparing it to Buddhist morality. And 
what good and bad is changed throughout history. Good used to be powerful and rich, right? Like, if you look up the roots of the term good in, like, older languages, it usually is related to power, wealth, and just, like, you know, masculinity or things that were, you know, aiding you in survival. And bad was plain and simple. Poor people, historically, like, way back when, like, I'm talking fucking before even the Greeks, like, like, fucking before religion, or not before religion, but, like, civilized society, but before, you know, people really started, like, worshipping as much as, as they used to before. I'm explaining this poorly. How do I say this? Let me reword that. Historically, way back, right? You don't need to know when. I'm not gonna fucking, I'm gonna try to explain it, but it's not gonna work. Historically, poor people used to be considered bad people, right? Not because they were immoral or evil, those weren't even associated, right? There was no concept of bad, right, in the way that we use it today, right? If you say you're a bad person, what I mean by that is you're immoral, right? You're a shitty person, right? But if I said that 6,000 years ago, 7,000 years ago, I say you're a bad person, all I mean is that you're poor or plain. You're, you work farms, right? If I said you're a good person, that meant you were rich or fucking powerful, right? And what the good people did was considered good. And what the bad people did was just considered bad. There was no relation to morals. Religion intertwines and priests and, and things get involved and they flip-flop it. And bad becomes good and good becomes evil, right? Being overly zealous or greedy or using your power or killing and all the things that the nobles did thousands of years ago because they were rich and they were and they were flexing their muscles is now considered evil and bad and what was bad in plain being modest and nice and sharing and and doing things that broke people did is now good right does that make sense I just yapped for a bit. Somebody said, holy yappington, yappington. I'm turn I'm literally timing you out. But he's got three chats. But he's got three chats. Get him the fuck out of here. So the roles were reversed. Yes, basically. Well, roles were reversed. But roles were reversed and morality was included into what good and bad bet. Good and bad had nothing to do with morals in the start of the terms. But now... Now they have meaning. Now they have meaning that we've ascribed to them, right? And people can be good or evil, right, people. Um, and I think that's needed for a society to run. But at the end of the day, it's subjective and not real in a universal scale. But even if you say you ignore that, right, and we feed into the illusion, which we should, because that's what you need for a society to run and have people not stab each other and shit, um... Different countries have different morals. I have different morals than you. What I think is right and wrong is probably different than what you think is right or wrong, right? I don't want to get into the abortion topic. I'm not saying abortion is necessarily moral, but I would not say that it's immoral, right? Other people would disagree with me, right? Many of you would disagree with me. Or conversely, uh, if you go into like the early Spartan societies, Spartans used to throw babies off cliffs if they had deformities because they weren't going to be strong fighters. Nobody ever said that was bad. That was good. They were doing the good thing because they were trying to raise uh, a fucking plentiful child that was going to grow and be a strong human being, right? So if you were born and you had fucking one missing finger, they yeeted you off a fucking cliff because there was no point in, in raising you, right, is how they felt, right? And that wasn't even, that wasn't immoral. Right. Or I, I wrote another essay on this. Spartans, uh, when they were getting enacted into the military, used to have to go and kill slaves. And they would go and kill like the biggest and the baddest slave that they could find. They would only get in trouble if they were caught. It was They would get in trouble because they were caught, not because what they were doing was bad. And it was weird. Right. How like you would go and you would kill. You would go and you would kill like slaves, but you would get in trouble for getting caught. You wouldn't get in trouble for killing the slave. Like you were, it, it, that the punishment was, we saw you doing this, not you did this, right? Uh, let me read Swells. 
Somebody said, is this Joe's Riz? Brother. Can you stop being a fucking brain dead chatter? Every beginning has a cause. Like, picture it like the Big Bang. In Science Intelligence, the Big Bang appeared. But picture it like this. Every beginning has a cause, not... Every beginning has a cause in the human in the human existence, right? Every beginning has a cause in your mind. Not necessarily everywhere. Just because you existed because something existed before it doesn't mean that everything always had a, had a cause, a causal relationship. That's only on Earth in human experience. Not things that don't have a beginning because they don't have a cause, but every beginning has a cause. How would the Big Bang just happen randomly, which is the beginning of the universe without a cause? That doesn't make any sense. A lot of people point that out, and I conversely just point to God, right? When people that are religious say the Big Bang makes no sense, how did something come from nothing? I say the same of God, right? God always was and always will be is a classic response to the where did God come from, right? Conversely, the Big Bang, it happened. It just happened, right? It's as confusing, right? Through my thinking philosophically, us existing is from a cause. Our parents is the cause. If the Big Bang happened and nothing caused it, then my pantheism, which is God, isn't true. In my opinion, that's wrong because every beginning has a cause. Therefore, the universe had a beginning. It also has a cause. It far more makes sense to me that God, who is eternal, caused the universe. But where did God come from, right? Then you go down... You say, okay, God's eternal, right? I could conversely say the universe isn't eternal, right? I could conversely say that the Big Bang was triggered from a previous universe that collapsed and triggered another Big Bang. And the universe has always been existence. The universe is eternal. The universe is God. In my mind, if I'm prescribing what I believe God is, I don't think God's an om omnipotent being with a red beard or, a, or a, a beard and he's sitting on a cloud like Zeus. I think that God is the universe. God is literally everything and everything. I am in part God. You are in part God. That lamp is God. Pickle Rick is fucking God. That motherfucker right there is God. In part, fractionally, very minimally, because the universe is huge, but the universe is God. And therefore, if the Big Bang triggered, that might be the start of our current universe, but the universe could have existed before it in another realm, right? You could have existed millions of times previously, and you just don't know it. Because your body has been fucking torn apart and reformatted a million times that you don't remember it, right? Food and dog for the sub video for the three. I always worry that when I die, okay, now we're just going to get into a yap session. I'm excited for it. I'm so, I'm so not caught up on the bit donos that I'm just going to be answering cool questions. I always worry that when I die, I will be lifeless with nowhere to move in my coffin. I doubt that will occur. I think when you die, one of two things will happen. One of three things will happen. A, you'll be reincarnated. B, you're going to go to an afterlife. C, you're fucking dead, right? Those are the three that I toil with, right? I'm either, I'm either coming back as something else, I'm fucking dead, or I'm going somewhere else, right? Those are, those are the three. I don't, nothing else could happen, realistically. Or it was a simulation, that's still just you're dead, right? That doesn't matter. In that any other scenario, you're just dead, right? You're in a simulation, you're dead. It doesn't matter, right? Cooper for the three. My best friend's dad passed away a week before his birthday. This was about a month ago. I remember during spring break, he was saying that his dad would be fine after his heart attack. Turns out he wasn't. He went brain dead, and uh, we all knew he wouldn't come back. Rip Joe Elder. Rip in the chat. I'm sorry to hear that. I swear that was his name. Now, I believe you. Thanks for your service. Did he serve as well? Trev for the sub, are you saying thanks for my service? Video for the three. Uh... Did you just say to my donor that when I die, the third option is I'm dead? Nah, really? I'm saying the third option is you're dead, meaning you don't exist. Because when I say you die and there's an afterlife, that's not really death, right? And so that's why I don't also kind of believe in a morale. I, I, the reason I don't believe in an afterlife right now is I believe it's kind of a thought experiment to cheat death. In, in like human, animalistically, you are hardwired to fear dying and believing that I, when I die, I'll go to somewhere else removes that fear of death because then I'm not dying, right? It's like a comforting, it's like a comforting feeling, not only for yourself, but also for when your loved ones die. When your loved ones die and you're sitting there like, oh, they're going to go to heaven. That makes you feel so much better than, hey, they're fucking dead, right? Like one of those, you know? Comforting lies. I wouldn't say it's a lie. 
it's faith, right? At the end of the day, it's as logical as what I believe, right? Like, I don't believe in an afterlife. Somebody that does, I don't think they're stupid. I think that's their faith. That's their belief. They think when they die, they will go to heaven. I think personally, I can't believe in that, right? Because there's no reasoning for me to believe that when I die, I will go to an afterlife. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Fluffy is for the three. I think humans need to attach meaning and utility uh, to things in order to understand things. I remember seeing a post of somebody saying, why does Saturn have rings? They don't do anything and they're kind of useless. Yeah. People always want a reason for something, right? Why? But that's humans, right? That's why, that's why we're intelligent. We want to know why something happened, what happened, when it happened, where it happened, right? You ask all these questions, but some things may not have answers, right? It just is. <laughs> it's just, that's, that's, sad. that's just how it is. I mean, a lot of those things that we used to say, that's just how it is. We ended up explaining scientifically. But are we going to be able to do that with everything? I don't know, right? Like what? Dark matter. It makes no sense. Um, the universe has a specific weight and a majority of that is unaccounted for and it exists, but it's in this weird form. They, you, they tried the name uh, dark matter it's there. It's weight of the universe. We don't know where it is, but it's there. And it's not even dark. It's not even dark matter. Like it's matter. Like it's just, it's, they're ascribing a name to something they don't understand. Weight that exists that isn't accounted for, but not like, oh, a misfract, like not even like, oh, a miscalculation. It's like a majority of like what the universe is matter wise. We just can't even see cherry for the three. What do you think that makes humans what do you think that makes humans hurt others humans psychologically whether World War II experiment or other things power power in the installation of your own beliefs right at the end of the day that's an animal the reason we have war is the animalistic ideology that we need to be on top your i it's the same thing as when you watch walruses fucking hurt each other to try and get a mate you're trying to instill your ideologies and your beliefs upon somebody else to enable them. Okay, I'm going to... Wait, hold up. I'm going to save some of these other videos for another day because I know we're not going to get to these. But I'm fine with that. That's what always happens with philosophy videos. We end up just yapping. But... Uh, cherry for the three. Uh, what was I even saying? I fucking forget. Oh, why people hurt each other? It's, it's an animalistic tendency to to want to you know instill your power your beliefs are you religious no i used to be swiggly for the three do you think once you die you can move bodies like not a consciousness being or like an animal or not animals have a form of conscious i mean that's kind of like reincarnation unless you're saying your actual consciousness would currently move to something else and that's a cool show watch altered carbon uh first season's good second season's kind of trash altered carbon great show on netflix it's about the idea that um your your brain is or your consciousness is implanted on this disc and that disc they transfer from person to person and so you could exist in any form as a human but like you wouldn't look the same like i could just take out the chip out of the back of my head and put it into somebody else and then i would be i'd still be the same person but i'd look different altered carbon is the name of the show uh the 709 for the three if heaven is real and you're there forever would you eventually get bored because you'll run out of things to enjoy and just exist forever i mean that's also what your concept of heaven would be on whether or not it's like a great dream and you're actually consciousness or if it's just a oneness with god right like uh, a oneness with god is more of a perceivable concept of what heaven would be right cheesy for the three i had a friend who was briefly heard of briefly heard of god never really got into it went into a card cardiac rest. he said he saw jesus then he since then he was never the same he had a near-death experience he almost died. His heart, his heart probably stopped, and then he was he had an NDE. The reason NDEs aren't used is because you're tripping. Um, near death experiences explain every religion and every non religion, right? If you look into near death experiences, there are people that have claimed to have seen every religion under the sun and nothing, right? Um, just because it's it's basically like a higher form of dreaming. Uh, cheesy for the three. Video for the three. Uh, I already read that. Santos for the three. 
What if life's actually like the first life creator to the Big Bang is uh, the purpose of higher being or other life? If we cannot comprehend life and soul is just one big chemical reaction. My second idea, life in general is necessarily special. What if you weren't the special one, but rather the more evolved or the sperm cell with the highest probability? I mean, you might be the most evolved sperm cell when you were being conceived, but that it also was probably chance, right? Like, whether or not your dad, you know, the other day, you know, did he wait? Because then that sperm's gone, right? I'm not going to say it, but you know what I mean, right? Like, that changes the likelihood, right? Peak for the sub. Video, yeah, did the deed, you know, different day, day before. Video for the three. The idea of any religion that has to go into a uh, palace on clouds is beyond what the mind can think. When you uh, look at today, you would never think that's possible to be sitting on clouds talking to a god. Well, I mean, I don't think that I don't think that the average Christian or person in general is perceiving heaven as like a cloudy gate that opens up with like angels flying around playing harps and shit. Like, I don't think that's what most people would perceive heaven as. I don't think that's what I would perceive heaven as. Uh, but I mean, yeah, that used to be like what some people may have thought, uh, maybe in like the Greek times, but like back with like, like Greek or Roman gods, maybe I don't, I don't really know what they believed. I haven't looked into that religion. I, I do. I am a philosophy and religion major, but we don't really study religions that don't really exist anymore. Right? Like nobody's, nobody's actively like praying to, uh, some of these old, go older gods that existed fucking 5,000 years ago as much. What do you think about resurrecting or immortality? What, with like how they Walt Disney froze himself? I don't think they'll ever bring him back. And I also think that would suck, you know? I don't know. I always fear that I'm going to die and then like 10 years later, they're going to find the, the thing for immorality or immortality. That would blow. I mean, I wouldn't know that it would blow, but it would blow, you know? Like... That would really suck if one day, like, you died, and then, like, a, we a year later, they were like, all right, we found out how everybody can live another 150 years. We found out how to get rid of everything that was ailing you. That would suck, dude. And I feel like that's going to happen, man. Um, one, Another thing that I thought of is, like, if the universe exists for an infinite amount of time, with an infinite set of probabilities at one point there would be a borderline ultimate being i mean this is just whether or not it defies the laws of the universe but if there's an infinite number of probabilities an infinite number of universes blah 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 there would be a being that has the power to bring every single person back from the dead and does If everything could happen. But then, alternatively, you could also say that there would be somebody that would just destroy the universe. But, I mean, that's also just, like, that's so far out that it's like, nah. Uh, Zlenko for the sub. Uh, Fred for the three. Uh, I hope this isn't depressing. I hope to live... I don't hope to live a long life. I think 60s, 70s is good. I couldn't be in a state where I couldn't move, talk, or eat. Yeah, no, you want to have a quality of life. I think that's what you're saying. Like, uh, I would say I would... I want to live till like 85, 90, but I would want to have good years until I'm 80, you know? I wouldn't want to be like 65 in a wheelchair with a feeding tube and like I, I shit myself. Like that would suck. Calicone for the three. Do you believe humans can still evolve physically or if we reach optimal form? I don't know if we could evolve. I think we're going to evolve physically to more societal needs rather than like, physical adaptation. Like, I think our bodies are going to get weaker. But I think other things are going to are gonna aid themselves, right? Video th for the three. Why do people not believe in aliens? Um, usually religion. Trash for the three. I think the story of Las Lajas prov proves that Jesus is God and there is, uh, there is a God. The story is summed up about this mutant deaf girl who sees Jesus and talks for the first time. The girl grows ill and dies, but her mother brings her to Jesus, and she is resurrected. They go back to the spot where it happened. There's a picture of him and Mary that appear on the rock. Scientists and geologists have proved the picture as a part of the rock and not drawn slash painted. Could you send a video of that in the video suggestion tab? I would love to watch that one day. 
I've never heard of that story. Uh, Cherry for the three. Why do you think humans are the only animals with a consciousness? They're not. Do you think a tiger is, for example, started to have a consciousness? Other animals have consciousness. They just don't have the level of language that we do. If we didn't speak, you would be on the same level as a fucking pigeon. Uh, not a pigeon, maybe a crow. If you didn't know, if you grew up in the woods and no one ever spoke to you, you would have the same conscious capabilities as like a crow or a high intelligent ape. Uh, you would obviously be smarter and more applicable in certain scenarios, but the whole reason you're intelligent is because you know how to fucking talk. Shared knowledge, right? You can sh you can not only talk to yourself, but you could also talk to other people. Other animals can't do that. I mean, dolphins can, but we also don't understand their language as much. But, like, dolphins have names. Like, dolphins have, like, like uh, sounds for each other's names. Like, specific noises that, that make them, like, look and stuff. Uh, Car Care Bear for the sub unknown for the three. It's been seen before that humans uh, believe in religion to make answers. What's the difference with us? What do you mean? Humans make religion. Uh, humans believe in religion to make answers. I do think that if you um, if you dropped humans on an island and left them, they would come up with their own religion. I whether or not that points out that religion is real, or religion is the way, or if it's just the innate human wants to find answers to questions that don't have answers at their disposal. Somebody said, really? I mean, I, I don't know if they've ever done it, but I think that, like, most... Like, do... uh, What's that one island where they kill people if, if you come on their island and that one pastor tried to go convert them even though he didn't speak their language and they fucking shot him? North Sentinel Island. Do they have the, Do they have a religion? I would assume so. And they haven't been in contact with human, other humans in fucking centuries. When was the last time North Sentinel Island? I'm going to look up when. When did humans, when did humans go to North Sentinel Island? Like, when did they arrive there? When did the first humans... It just says the first recording of seeing them was 1867. But that's like, that means they, dude, they've been there for tens of thousands of years. Like the, the, the generations of people there. I can't show any of these images because they're naked. But. Like, dude, that's crazy. Like biologically the same. Alb Albuno for the sub and nipple for the three. Care for the sub. Infinity is trippy and crazy. Well, it's, it's not even, you're not even capable of grasping it like your human mind is only able to understand so many things that trying to understand like hey what a fucking infinite universe is is physically impossible mr beast challenge first one to befriend the north sentinelese wins ten thousand dollars that is not worth it i think everybody in that challenge would fucking die video for the three we're the strongest species on the planet because we think for ourselves and share ideas with each other that's how all these inventions have happened and how we have developed yeah uh specialized work in society too there's three things that make humans more evolved than other animals, and, like, n almost none of them are just genetics. I, I mean, genetics it, enabling us to do this. I mean, like, just, if you're looking at my mouth right now, the fact that I'm capable to fucking make these noises with my mouth is number one. Uh, I'm able to speak. I'm able to have a language and, and move my, way, my mouth in such a way and my tongue in such a way that you're able to understand me in a complex way. Coupled with the fact that we have societies and specialized work. When even when we had language and everybody was doing things for themselves, we still we still weren't evolved, right? That was the first evolution was language. The second evolution was society in specialized work, right? The idea that I don't need to know how to fucking do everything for myself, I can just fucking get really good at making textiles or swords, right? That's why or like like that's why fucking one of the most common last names in the United States is Smith. It's from blacksmith. It usually was based off your your profession, right? If your last name is Smith, you probably had a family member that was a fucking blacksmith. Um, but it's like I I don't know how to describe it. It's it's more so. Language coupled with specialized work enables us to evolve. If there's going to be another thing that we could do on top of that, I don't know. But, I mean, that's where we are now. 
Uh, Cade for the three. Can you look at my chat? Sorry, too long to type. Yeah, one second. And I spelled your name wrong. Is it Katie the boss? I you gotta you gotta have your username the same as the dono, and I can't see it because you didn't make your user the same. All right. But chat, we're gonna call that there. Honestly, um, that was a W stream. Uh, I'm fucking starving. I need to eat food. Uh, I'm glad that you guys watched this last yap for the fucking last hour and a half. Shinzi for the five. First time ever cheering best wondering why you say the word guttural. I think you mean visceral. Guttural death. For oh, yeah, I think I might mean visceral. Yeah. I say my guttural response. I say my guttural response, though, just also because that's it's like a harsh sounding response. I think I'm still using the right word. I mean, maybe I'm not. Anyways, chat, we're going to call that there. I'm going to post on YouTube right when I end. Uh, I'll be live tomorrow at 4.30 EST. We're going to be doing all of Man of Madon. We're going to play the whole game. The last Dark Anthology game we haven't played yet. We haven't done a Dark Anthology game since Until Dawn. Um, and it's also like one of the first ones they released on PC. Uh, and the shortest one. So we're going to do that. Uh, Tuesday, I may be live. If we are, we're going to be doing Rainbow. Uh, maybe Roblox, Storage Hustle, Roblox games. Uh, maybe Fortnite, even. Wednesday is going to be uh, Scary Games. Thursday is going to be uh, either not live or doing what I was going to do on Tuesday if I'm not live on Tuesday. Uh, I'll let you guys know for sure tomorrow which day I'm going to be live, which I'm not. Friday is the Lunchables review. Saturday is going to be, um, what's it called? Uh, 420, so we're going to be getting high on stream, doing random reacts, fucking gaming, shit like that. Sunday is going to be reacts, and then next Monday I'm probably going to do more sim games. Uh, and next week is also the, not this upcoming week, the week after that, the 24th starts the Twitch Rivals event. So I'll be doing like Minecraft for like five days straight. So, I mean, lock in for that chat. If it sucks, we'll just fucking throw and get out of the event and then I'll do other shit the next days. But if it's a fun event, we're going to fucking lock in because I'm pretty sure it has a big prize pool and there's like 150 streamers in it approaching for the three. Not to be parasocial, but it feels good to know other people, uh, think and feel the same as I do. Feels comforting. No, it definitely does. I never thought when I started doing these philosophy streams that I, that this many people would would relate to me, you know. Um, obviously, like with the regular reacts I do, I understand it. And like when I switched, you saw like a thousand people left. Those people don't relate to me. They don't want to watch it, right? And that's fine, right? But it's cool that this many people suck around. So I appreciate y'all, you know. Uh, love doing these streams, uh, just streams in general as well. Uh, appreciate y'all. And I hope to catch y'all in future streams uh, and just, you know, uh, whether it be tomorrow or just fucking in general, you know, but we'll do another philosophy stream soon. Maybe next Sunday. Uh, and yeah, who do we want to raid? Um, let's raid fucking Nolan. He's playing Red Dead, which you guys love and I never play, but yeah. Catch y'all soon. Go watch the YouTube video right when I post. And I will see you guys tomorrow. We are going to rate it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See y'all later.